Yes, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name's George Aiken. Happy Monday here from the UK. It's Monday Makers. Yes, every Monday we get a bit more advanced. We take it to the next level uh, with your crafting, but it's going to be a great three hours today. Some great fun to be had and some great deals and bargains for you to be having a look at tonight. Uh, I'm very excited for this next three hours. Uh, remember, it's all about you. If you've got any questions or anything you want to ask, you can get involved in the show. Comment below. The wonderful Susie Socials is on today. Um, wonderful. She's hello. Hello, Susie. Uh, Kathy's here saying hello. Alicia's saying hello. Rhonda from the Chicago saying hello. Uh, Mary's saying hello. Lorna's saying hi. Fred171 from California. Hello to you. And Linda's saying hello from Maryland. Great to have you wherever you are watching us. But loads of you getting excited about this Monday Maker, so I'm not by myself. No, no. I'm joined by everyone's favourite Scottish man in crafting. Well, oh, actually, actually, oh, I'm hang on a minute. I'll have, You've I'll just about put your foot in it. I have, haven't I? I have indeed. Right, right. It's not often that there's two Scots in the building. No, not like two Mel oh. Scott crafters. I know. Oh, God. Start again. Right. <laughs> we'll say hello to the first Scottish man. Uh, hello, Craig. Good evening. <laughs> How are you doing, George? You ready to go I for this fine. one? That was great, and then I just fine. ruined it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You started down there, it can only go <laughs> up there, can't it? We'll wait and see. We'll see how the next three hours goes. But yes, been a while since I've done a Monday Maker, so really looking forward to diving in. Also having another show where I'm on with Justin and Gordon as well, because trust me, I don't go far when the guys are on. I just nip out there and I watch as well. But let's have a look at some of the things we yes, are going please. to be doing as well. We're going to be having a look throughout the next, uh, well, you know, two hours that I'm going to be popping on for Monday Makers. We're going to be having a look at our silhouette dies. Now, these ones are really lovely because all you need to do is die cut into watercolour card, smooth stamping card, and you add your own colour. Of course, if you do want to then go along and do them into pattern papers and card stocks, you can do but it's all about creating that floral. So use that as the centerpiece, use it as little tuck-ins if you wanted to, use it to create frames, you can do that. Then start to back them onto your die cuts as well, so you can keep it simple, or then start to do your big background cards. You might even want to start to incorporate them into our stamps that we've got coming up as well. These ones are so much fun in the different looks that you can get. Also, by changing the colours, changing the colours, as I always say, is going to give you a completely different look. But then what about our big scene create a card dies? You know what I'm like. I adore my big dies. So whether it's a big background dies, whether it is create a scene, this is no exception here. This is actually a celebration, a wedding church scene. But look how different you can create it with the blacks and the whites, creating that snowdrop effect. Then we've also got another one. Now, within each of the sets or finished samples I'm showing you, there's loads of other designs within the full set. I'm only giving you a little taster as to what to expect. Still with the big scene, create a card, that lovely cross. Great for going into, of course, uh, Easter time, but then thinking about the celebrations throughout the year. Then we are going to go in and have a look at a little bit of sparkles Ooh, throughout love that. some of the demonstrations. So as we can see here, keeping it very simple with a few die cuts, or then go in with your background dies, maybe your creative cards would work a treat as well, having that backdrop. So that's just a, a few things to expect over the next couple of hours with myself and Monday Makers, and of course with George. Absolutely, loads of you getting very excited about this tonight. Uh, loads more of you saying hello. Mary Pat saying hello. Miriam saying hello from South Carolina. Crafty Becky, hello. Uh, Sherry saying hello. Loads of you getting involved today, which is great. Uh, loads of you excited for the wonderful Be Creative who have been with us all day. Uh, Gordon and Justin are still here. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. How are we doing so far? How's your day been? It's I'll been be good. It's wonderful. Especially we just got free chocolate. I know, Tracy's got chocolate. Well, yeah. they're fantastic. That's what you need. Uh, guys, what are you going to bring it up for us a little bit later on well we're going to be doing con continuing with our multi uh multi-layer dies yeah <laughs> multi-layer stamps yes. oh my god it's getting late <laughs> unfortunately oh mr tedward has I gone he's got he had to say bed, bye bye so <laughs> bye bye tedward <laughs> bye tedward so off he goes but but we still have tedward's uh uh, girlfriend, if you like, yeah, I would Ooh. say that. And girl's is t girlfriend is Tilly, Tilly the bear. There we are. There's Tilly there. I'll show you some more. Yeah. Oh there wow, love these. There and Tilly is a high definition fluffy multi-layer stamp, but she's a fluffy bear as opposed to Tedward. 
There's another one there. How wonderful is Love she? Love that. Beautiful bear. One makes a wonderful girlfriend uh, for Tedward. And the other one we have is Dexter. Dexter the dog. And of course, Dexter the dog belongs to Tilly and Tedward. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so here we have uh, Dexter. Here's one of them. Yeah, I'll show you the many faces of Dexter quickly. There's one. Dexter can be anything you like. Look at that one there. Is that, what's that more like it, a gentleman? It, it, love it's, that. It's oh, is it a spinny well. bow tie? Perfect. Oh, yeah, Look at that. <laughs> How about Dexter the snowman? <laughs> there we are. There's a different one for you. How about Dexter the clown? There oh, we are. I love Look him. at that. The many faces of Dexter. Oh, looks uh, just like George. This one. Oh, there we are. I don't know what we call that one. <laughs> it's just like Dexter, me. isn't he, really? Oh, how about this one? Dexter, the many hats of Dexter. Oh, I love it. Yeah? And how about Dexter, the sailor man? <laughs> yeah, oh, there we are. I'm Dexter, the sailor man. <laughs> and of course, oh my God, he's everywhere here. Yeah. How about Dexter, the pirate? Oh of my course. God, look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Perfect. Dexter, the pirate. Dexter, the Irishman. There we are. This one was done for St. Patrick's Day. A slightly drunk Dexter there, I think. <laughs> here we have, oh, how about this one? We've turned Dexter into a nice female doggy. Yep. Dixie, and last Dixie. But, <laughs> Dick, and last but not least, how about steampunk Dexter? Oh, I love go. that. So Dexter is the dog for every occasion. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so much. And Justin, you've got some bits for us as well. What have you got yes, for us, Justin? Yes, I have more. Uh, it's a bit more cute. And then I also have Fiona. Oh, we love Fiona. Yeah. Fox, yeah. Fiona the fox. And she has a little bow and her... her Days, uh, Daisy Crown. Oops, it's a, oops. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> and then, of course, the, uh, Fiona. She would have a top hat with that. And then we have Arthur the Bee, yep. which is we can actually get that part. Yeah, she's with the honey pot. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, uh, with the little daisy flowers. Oh, I love for it. Arthur. And then we have. Yeah, Yes, it's definitely putting a smile for your other day when you <laughs> receive that. Of course, we Aww. have Basil the Mouse in the little booklet. Little booklet, yeah. Love that. It has a little booklet. You can just you can do lots of it. Yeah. And then, of course, you have another Basil the Mouse. Gorgeous. Yeah. And then we have Lily, the ladybird. Little, my favourite. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Such a yeah. great collection. I'll be demonstrating Lily, the ladybird, <laughs> in, a, in a later while to show yeah. you how well she can be. Yeah ink or stamp yeah. or colour even with and, uh, spectral And remember, mask. the added benefit is that all the accessories with every set can be used yes. with all the other sets. They're Brilliant. all interchangeable. Great stuff. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, guys, we'll see you very, very shortly in about an hour's time. Uh, remember, so much more to come up for you, including... What does the pirate dog say? Ask Anne Arif. Uh, loads, much, so much love coming in. And we're also joined by our wonderful craft ambassador. Here she is, all the way. I don't actually know where you're from, Marianne. America, that narrows it down. Uh, Marianne, good evening, my dear. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? So, Marianne, people may not know you as Marianne. They may know you as your YouTube name, which is... Scrap, paper, scissors. Yes, it is. We ha I always say hello to you. Uh, so, Marianne, whereabouts are you in the United States of America? I'm in northern Ohio, right on Lake Erie. Yep. Perfect. So what time is it now? What time is it where you are? It is... 2.10. 2.10. Perfect. <laughs> Great to have you. Uh, so, Marianne, I, I know you watch most days because you comment every single show. Uh, what is your favourite bit of crafting? Oh, oh gosh, it's like trying to pick your favorite flower at the flower shop. I love it all. I Anything with paper, anything yeah. with paper, I love. Perfect. Well, Marianne, we'll be coming to you throughout the show. Uh, I will speak to you in a little bit, and hopefully you'll still comment in like I always know you will. It won't be the same without <laughs> you. <laughs> I'll speak to you shortly, Marianne. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Uh, guys, remember, loads to get through in this brilliant show. Loads of loving Dexter the Diva. Uh, so adorable. Tilly is my grandmother's name. Says Kathy. There's so many of you getting really excited. Um, guys, I'll tell you what else you're excited for today are these. These wonderful credit card die collections are 60% saving for you today at £39.49 and $45.99. Remember, within this collection, you're getting two dies within each set. You'll get that wonderful detailed die, and you'll also get that wonderful outline die. Remember, each one's got its own little features. Here are the butterflies. You've got a wonderful liftable element here. You've got the butterfly love. 
You've also got the church blessings. Again, a great, a humongous die. Uh, perfect to get you straight. Look at that. Nice and simple. Into your little A fold, temp fold card. And you're there straight away with a wonderful collection. You've also got here as well for you today. I mean, look at this. This is just gorgeous. Uh, your wonderful moon and stars there for you. That perfect uh, square shaped card. Remember the outline die. This one is gorgeous as well. I don't think I've seen this one, the ornate cross before. I don't think I've seen this. I love this with all the different details there within it. Uh, then you've got take flight. Again, the one with the black. I mean, it's just beautiful. They are so beautiful. And last but not least within this collection, the Rustic Roses. Six great designs there, a brilliant price, 60% of saving. Uh, £31.59 on your Club Inspire, $36.79. Craig, when we talk about credit card, I mean, these are just the right ones, aren't they? Perfect. They absolutely are, you know, because they do exactly as their title does. Create a card, so one pass through your Gemini or any other die cutting machine that you've got, uh, they're going to create that instant card. But then, of course, you can then advance it if you want to, which is something similar to what we're going to do and we're going to be using that moon and stars because i just love that effect nice having a selection of your uh, ra rectangle designs as well as your square designs so within these ones here create a card you've got your uh, main design and then you've got your outline die so the main design will cut into your card stock add in your outline die that's going to release it from your card stock so that's why you've got 12 elements in total six of them are designs and then six of them are the outer die so what i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to use the die on its own and i always like doing tent fold cards where the fold is at the top it's just my preference so i've got my card blank which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters and i'm going to go in with my low tack tape and then what I'm going to do within this one here is I'm going to tape the centre. And that's because although our tape is called low tack tape, because we have so much pressure from the Gemini, it can actually start to take a few layers of fibre off your cardstock. So therefore what we tend to do, where possible, is when you're taping the die down, put, pop the tape where the waste components are going to come out. So then therefore the tape sticks to the waste bit so it doesn't matter if it was to take any fibre layers off. But then what I've done within this one here, Gemini Junior, and I know it's obviously harder to see on black cardstock, no metal shim for these ones. Sometimes with detailed creative card dies, I'll add a metal shim in, but not for these ones because they're all going to die cut absolutely beautifully. And it's even the fine detail, like within this part here, that's easily got to be about as little as a millimetre thick or thin even. And going in, if you can bring in your die tool if you wanted to, I do like to just come in and poke all the bits out because it doesn't take long at all. Certainly within this die anyway, you know, there's, it's detailed, but there's not lots of intricate detail. So if I pop these bits out, and then these bits out here. And then what I've already done with my finished sample, there's lots of little stars that die cut out as waste. So I've kept a hold of the ones from my finished sample. And then what I would do is once I go to finish this, this card, we would then come back in with the little stars and we're going to start to pop them uh, randomly throughout our design and it just creates another little bit of a feature because it's then taking what is the main image and it's just expanding it slightly by having extra die cut elements throughout but taking this one so now that I've done this one into my card blank that we can see here what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come in with this pearl, uh, Centura Pearl card this one is the pale silver and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both together. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Usually, I don't use the outline dies. What I do is I just cut my cardstock to the size that I want. So, for instance, this outline die is 5x5. Five five. Really, when I'm at home, I'll cut my card to 5x5 five five and then do the decorative part. However, you do have the die included if you wanted to. And for the sake of the purpose of this one, I will use the dies together, secure them so that they don't jump. As long as you've secured them with your low-tack tape, you'll be safe in the knowledge of knowing that your dies aren't going to cross over. And what I mean by jumping or cross over, 
one goes on top of the other one. When you run them through the Gemini, obviously the pressure would squash the metal into a metal. So therefore, if you tape them down securely, you're going to be absolutely fine. If you wanted to, you can 100% do them individually. So if you wanted to do your main outline layer first of all, and then cut in with the detail, or actually you could do the detail, then the outline. It's entirely up to you. You do what you feel comfortable with. But as I always say, as long as you've secured them well enough with your low tack tape, they're absolutely going to be fine. Tonight. It's great to have you. Loads of saying hello to Marianne. Uh, Debbie saying hi, Marianne. So nice to see you. Linda saying hello. Lovely to see you. Uh, Marcel. So the cross looks like kind of like a panelled window. It really does. And scrap paper scissors. Still be in touch, Marianne. Uh, I can't believe my luck in getting to be on the show. Two of my oh, favourite so people. Nice. Everyone on the show is so gracious. It's lovely. It's very exciting. It's nice to put a face to a name. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Because I was the same when uh, Georgina had said Marianne was on. And she could obviously tell by the look on my face. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know who it is? I was like, Marianne, Marianne, Marianne. And then when she said uh, her handle name on YouTube, I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly who you mean now. So it's funny that, you know, there's some of the, the handle names that you've got, whether it's, you know, on YouTube or Instagram, uh, not so much Facebook. I know most, most of the time everyone tends to use a, their name on Facebook, but certainly Instagram or YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to put a... Uh, 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 Face to the face to the name, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm eating mini eggs. Sorry, Tracy came in, gave me a packet of mini eggs, right. and then said I've got to share them with you. With me? I know. She doesn't know me. What ones are they? Mini eggs. Uh, so they're milk chocolate. Yeah. So um, you are absolutely safe in knowing that you can eat them all yourself. Why? I'm not a fan of milk chocolate. Come on! Yes. You hear that, Tracy? Did you hear that? He doesn't like milk chocolate, so I'm going to eat the full bag to myself. I don't need to, because I'm too fat. Anyway, craft him. <laughs> oh, dear. So what I've done is I've cut that one, so that's the pale silver, and we've cut that one in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drop shadow, and I'm going to go in with my tacky, my, uh, tacky glue. What I could do, of course, is I could go in with my dotty tape runner. I could go in with maybe my sprays or something along mm -hmm. those lines. However, when I am at home, this is what I like to do. I like to go in and I like to then use my tacky glue to get in all these little bits. I think I must have a little bit of a blockage. You, you get that sort of crowd, because Marianne, aka Scrap Paper Scissors, has a question right. for you, Craig, about okay. drop shadows. Marianne's getting really excited, I can see it. She's very excited about this. Uh, so, Marianne, what is your question yeah. about drop shadows, my dear? Okay, well, when you do the drop shadow on a card, what it always hangs out a little bit on the end. Do you just cut that off, or do you figure that in? Do you know what I'm saying? I guess, I, I know exactly what you're saying, and a really good question. So, let's take this one for example. So, if I was to do a drop shadow, so if I was to go now, if my card layer was bigger, so my frame was bigger, that's when we would get a little bit of an overhang. But let's just say I pulled it down far enough where we've got that drop shadow. What I would do, Marianne, is I would actually then cut it off. So I don't take that into account. I just cut my size that I'm wanting. Then I'll do my drop shadow. And if I've got an overhang on either side or the bottom or the left, whichever way that I'm doing the drop shadow, I would then cut that off either with my guillotine or with my scissors because we've got that straight edge guide. So a really good question, oh. but yeah, I will then uh, chop it off. Yeah, perfect. Any other questions? Anything you. else, Marianne, while you're there? Anything else? Anything else you want to ask? Pardon me? Anything else you want to ask, my dear? Any other questions? Um, how are the Cadbury eggs? They're beautiful. <laughs> they, are, they are non-existent. They're there. I'm smashing them back one at a time. I love them. I love them. I do. Me too. I do. Right, I'll come back to you shortly, Marianne. All right. Any more questions, Marianne? You just ask, my dear. All right, lovely. Right then, Craig. Okay. I love her. Right. So I've gone, I've gone into my actual tacky glue, and uh, I'll sort my little blockage out when we go back to you just shortly, George. But all that I'm going to do, and this is why I do like this small applicator, because the small applicator will really only give you a tiny, tiny amount, and that is yes. all that you need. But let's go in, and then what we're going to do is dab our glue on. So adding it on. 
and between launch day and Monday makers. What I was thinking about over the weekend mm. is, you know, when we come here, and there's certain things that we have to do for time and speed when we're on the show. But I was thinking, right, I'm going in, in with my demos, I'm going to incorporate time factor, whereas I'm going to use and adhere my elements with the adhesives that I would do at home. Mm -hmm. So it might take a little bit longer, a minute or two longer, but like something like the tacky glue, that's what I would be using for my intricate dies. Yes. So I thought what I'm going to do is within the shows that we do, uh, instead of using our dotty tape runner or our sprays for uh, quickness, I'm going to take that little bit extra time Absolutely. and just show you this is the way that I well, would do we've it. We've got the time to do exactly. that. That's the benefit, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right on that one. And that's why I was thinking like over the weekend, mm. let's do that. Let's make use of the time, whereas I can show you what I'm doing. But then instead of me just saying, right, I'm using my dotty tape runner. However, at home, I would be using my tacky glue, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's actually do it. Let's show you this is how I would do it at home. Absolutely. So doing a drop shadow, whereas we've got that pale silver peeping out of the edges just no more. So let's bring in a li another bit of black card, because then this will show you the highlight. Look at that. Look That's how at that. little it is. But it really does stand out. What I done a moment ago as well is by using our applicator. It's great that it's got the nozzle, but sometimes, actually all the time, you still get a lot more than you actually need. Mm -hmm. So I got my glue on the back where I wanted it, and then I dabbed it on the back of my hand. You could do it onto your glass mat, or maybe you got Justin Gordon's mat, and then mm -hmm. you can start to dab it on there because it just wipes off. Um, what I would say, majority of people are absolutely fine with our tacky glue on the back of your hand. Just do a little uh, patch test just yeah. to make sure. Uh, do it on a little bit of your hand or your arm to make sure. And then that's a nice way to just dab the excess off. It's then giving it a nice coverage on the back. Yeah. And then you know, safe in the knowledge, it's fine. Kelly's asking, Kelly Grant, hello Kelly Grant. Do you think the moon stencil that comes in with the silhouette stamps is large enough to use behind this dial? Do you think it'll get lost? No, you absolutely could Just do. Kelly's asking, yeah. Absolutely. I think so. Absolutely. And the whole thing as well is it's crafting. Try it. If you feel it gets lost, then at least you've tried it. I, I think that would look absolutely beautiful, yeah. actually. Yeah. Absolutely. Really, really nice. Uh, Kelly, if you shot. do it, send some pictures and we'd love to see yeah. them if you try that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, again, if you've got any other questions that you want to ask us tonight, tonight is the night. Uh, myself and Craig and the boys are here very, very shortly. It's, like, it's the boys' takeover tonight. It is, isn't it? It never happens, all the boys. Um, and Georgina. Okay, Georgian Georgiana. <laughs> George, George, Georgina, Marianne and Tracy. I mean, no offence, and I love Tracy to pieces. Tracy is stronger than me. She's she's she puts me to shame. You know what I'm. You know I love her. Uh, if you've got any questions, get involved in the show. Oh dear, that was funny. I liked that. <laughs> she's got her earphones in, so I know I can say whatever. She watch. does, doesn't she? Yeah, I can see it. Just it's weird because she's watching us is she? on uh, her monitor. Yeah, because what they do is so they can help us out. They can hear George and Georgina in the gallery as well. But I can see her straight ahead of me, and she's, uh, goodness, she's, she's watching. Well. Uh, she's watching us with her earphones in. <laughs> so uh, what I've done here is I've got another piece of our white smooth stamping card. I've cut it to five and a half by five and a half. Now what I'm doing is I'm going in with water reactive fuchsia, crushed velvet, mm -hmm. and then midnight. So I'm going in with there was three tones, and then oh, I'm going to mix them ones up. Never mind. So going in and I'm randomly going in with some of the inks. So laying that one down, we're going to incorporate the midnight as well. So let's go in to little sections so we can start to work it in. We can start to build it up and then little by little. So let's go little into here. Sorry. There's a certain words and I go, oh, that's a song. Get that in there. And then little the song just starts to kick in. It's like when someone starts singing Rolling the River all day long and it gets stuck oh, in your head. yeah. Great song. Do you know what it was? It was... Was it Friday night? Thursday night or Friday mm -hmm. night? I was channel surfing on the TV and it had come up Sky, Sky Arts. And I, it was a, a 2017 concert from Tina Turner. And it was, um, uh, oh, what's love got to do with it? Yeah. 
And I, so I was sitting and I was watching it. And then I thought, right, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. So I went to go and make a cup of tea and Proud Mary came on. So I'm making the cup of tea. And you know how it's slow to start. Yeah, well, I've yeah, not I'm heard the song in years. So I'm making the cup of tea and then it just goes into that belter of a tune, you know, after about two minutes or so. See, since then, I've had it playing. I like heard you pull up earlier. You had it on your, did you have Simply the Best on? What was that? Did you have Simply the Best on earlier when you pulled up? You had a tea and turn song. It was at Proud Mary. I could hear it when yeah. you pulled up. Proud uh, Mary. Sarah Sanders is asking, Craig, do you ever get any markings from the plates from your previous cuts on the back of the card when die cutting? Can yes. you advise if there's any way to avoid this? So there's a, there is a couple of ways. What you could do is add an additional shimmer cardstock. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to eliminate the, the transfer of your die cut lines onto your cardstock, uh, depending on, of course, what you're using as well. Uh, if I do in stenciling with yeah. my stencil, sorry, embossing with my stencils, this is why I, for instance, stencils anyway, that's why I always like to keep one plate unused. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's always my top plate and I cut into my base plate. And okay. the reason being is, if we go back to stencils, if I emboss with my stencils, I'll always do it onto my smooth uncut plate. Right. So I get no blemishes, I get no Perfect. marks, no nothing at all. That's why I always like to keep one clean. But as far as cardstock, obviously, you can't necessarily do it onto this one because then you'd be cutting into yeah. it. But to eliminate some of those marks, what I would do and tend to do if it happens to me is add in that extra shimmer cardstock. Yeah. Uh, Miriam's also asking, could you put a piece of acetate behind and colour the acetate like a stained glass effect? Absolutely, you can do it. And funny enough, you should say that this Friday. Friday. At uh, well, the last show of the day, what we've got is we have got with myself a Create a Card Masterclass. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't have these on, but we've got other ranges of our Create a Cards. And one of the demos that I'm going to be doing is actually popping acetate behind, colouring in with our deep, either classic or Spectrum Noir pens to create a stained glass effect window so you can do that so tune in on uh, that'll be the last show on friday of the day and then uh, see what i'm doing there and then you can transfer from what i'm doing on friday in and with these creator cards but yes you absolutely can do that'll be on friday 6 p.m here in the uk 2 p.m east coast 11 a.m pacific uh, joe and craig on that one that's right it's joe isn't it yeah mm -hmm. joe myself and joe but there we go so going in with water reactive which is fuchsia crushed velvet and midnight just going to blend all of these together and we get that real sort of deep tones that sort of uh, kind of like mystical tones if you want to even um, magical as well if you want to go down that road yeah then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in i was actually going to go in with our uh, spritzer mm -hmm. but what i've done is i've taken one of the pipettes that came with one of our sparkle pots and i've yeah. just popped it in with water so all that i'm going to do is flick Ooh. this one instead now this is white smooth stamping card it's not watercolor card you'll still get a full bleach effect yeah however um it will if you were to really rub the water off you will start to take away the fibers because it's not the proper right. card reason i'd done it though was just to show you that techniques like this even though it's water you can still use on some other card yeah, stock. Of course. this technique is based on the full bleaching of the what are reactive yeah. things, not necessarily focusing on the cardstock. Christine's just said, hi, hi, George and Craig. Amy from work doesn't believe you're live right now and doesn't think you can say hi to her. Oh. Can you say hello to Amy for me, please? Hello, Amy. If hi, we were, Amy. If we weren't live, we could be able to do this. Yeah. Call this out if we weren't live. You no, see? we couldn't, could we? I couldn't say Amy, we Amy. we're live. Amy, we're Amy. live. We are live. <laughs> so now that I have gone and added, yes. oh, oh he's, doing, he's doing the office. <coughs> <coughs> I have thought it soon. <sighs> You're out of breath now, aren't I'm you? Shattered. Some mini there eggs. <laughs> back to Craig. You come back to me, eat your mini eggs, that'll boost your sugar number, level number. up. So what I've done here, the longer you leave it, the more it's going to pull that colour full bleach in effect, as I say. But what we can do is we can stop it by going over either with kitchen towel or you can go over with another piece of cardstock and then what's transferred onto your cardstock you could be using elsewhere. But that is what I've done with those three colours. So once again, fuchsia, crushed velvet and midnight. 
and you can either spritz or you can flick with water that I sometimes do, or that was simply out of a pipette. Now, we would ideally leave that one to dry. So there's one that I'd done, actually, it was just before we went live for Monday Makers. So what we can do now is I'm going to come in, and similar to what I've done before, I'm going to go in with my tacky glue, and I'm just going to add a few little bits, and I'm going to go in all over. And what you can see me do now is what I'm doing at home, and that's not... I don't go carefully over every single line. Right. What I do is I get the majority of it, but I do it rather quite quickly. And then what I do is what I've done before with the back of my hand or your glass mat or your craft mat, whatever you feel comfortable doing. But it is the tacky glue that I use when I'm at home. And all that I want to do is go round the edges so we could get a good adhesion because you've got a lot of swirls within these ones, delicate lines. Yeah. That you want to make sure that you get a good bit of tacky glue. So then all I'm going to do is dab that on the back of my hand. So what I can then do now is either you can go design to design, but I like doing die cut to design. Oh, okay. So then it means then I can have a look, see if there's a specific colour way that I want to do. It's going to be that the, the fairy sitting on the moon looking into the galaxy, kind of like the stream of pink. So then what we can do is we can press. And don't worry if this back layer, so the full bleached layer, isn't quite straight because you've maybe tilted it at an angle to get a certain colour position. Yes. Don't worry about that because what we're going to do, let's take some of that glue off. I've got another piece of black cardstock that's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So as you can see, you know what, it's, it's straight, but it's further to that edge, further to that edge. Not that that matters, but the reason I've done that is so that when you open your card, lovely looking card, and then you're instantly hit with this white layer, which you don't really want. If you're doing something black tones, yeah. it's nice to keep it all black. So what we can then do is come back in and then we can sandwich that over the back so it hides the white. So if we press that in, you wouldn't know now there's anything behind that. We can then bring that in. I'm going to give that another burnish just to make sure that it's nice and full. Let's press these last little bits down of the glue. I've gone in with a little magical stamp this one just been from my collection here so i've stamped this onto our black matte cardstock yep and this one is also from the enchanted dreams magical sentiments and it's just a white embossing powder mm -hmm. that can sit down into here and then from the black layer and also the pale silver what i've got is these little die cuts here so what we can then do is go back in and take, let's see if I um, got enough little glue. All that I'm going to do is little dots round about. Let's see if I can do, let's see if I've got enough into here, one there, and then one there. I'm going to go in now. Let's bring in our pickup tool. Oh, I love it. Lisa Holton. The least Lisa's uh, pickup tool, absolutely. And let's go in with these last few ones. One there. I've got another silver. Yep. Let's pop that one there. Love that. Nothing and then to waste. That. I'm happy. Let's press that in. I'm happy with how that one's turned out. So using a create a card die, both cut and in with the cardstock and then cutting once again out of the silver cardstock in with the black, of course, that'll sit up on yours. It's just we're on a glass mat there. Done our full bleaching effect with fuchsia, crushed velvet, midnight, added a little bit of water to create the full bleaching effect, popped on our sentiment, added in some of the little die cut stars that had come out from the silver layer, and then we've created that card. So, uh, well, as you'll have seen, that was, we done all, other than the stamping, We've done that all within that first demo there, so you can see how you can create it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
<laughs> it's greasy. Uh, a great collection. Mary Reno goes, that was great, George. Hey, great answer. What can I say? Let's remind you the collection 60% off the butterfly love with those wonderful liftable wings. You've also got the church blessings. There it is. There it is. There's church blessings. Uh, there's the wonderful fairy that Craig just used there for you today, the wonderful moon and stars. There you've got the ornate cross. You've also got the up, up and away, take flight, and the rustic roses as well. £39.49, $45.99, a 60% uh, saving fee today, plus your club inspire as well at £31.59, uh, $36.79. And, and Lee says that was lovely, Craig. Linda Ryan, I love it, Craig, a great collection. Marianne, aka Scrap Paper Scissors. Oh, we've got a gremlin. We can't go to Marianne. Marianne. Okay, don't break my heart like that, George. I can't be doing it. I'll tell you what, while waiting for Mary, while waiting for Marianne to get back with us, uh, let's take a closer look at the wonderful um, aperture stamps. No, okay, aperture stamps. Let's do aperture stamps for you. Uh, these are brilliant and a great collection. So much that can be done with these. These are a great centerpiece for any card. Uh, a brilliant price as well today for you on your aperture stamps, which I know that you absolutely love. Um, a brilliant price for you today, 70% off. Wow, what a bargain indeed. You've got the ornate butterflies, balloons in flight, the ter oh, ter terrarium, thank you, birds and branches, love this, floral heart, and wild bloom. 23 pounds 38, 26.91. Club inspired price, £18.70, $21.37. Um, so, apparently the camera's frozen, so hello, how you doing? Uh, my eyes are, hello. So apparently the uh, car, we're frozen at the minute. So we, I'm just down here, how you doing? You all right, so we've got to stay, stay down here. Um, Club inspired price today is £18.70, $21.53. Uh, Carletta Morris, I love it, it's so pretty. <laughs> this is a joke. Um, Mary Pat says, I love that Craig card. Barbara, hello, scrap paper says, hello, nice, so nice to see you. Uh, Lorna has gone, George had way too much sugar. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sarah Sanders, thank you for answering my question. I always also keep one clean, clear plate. Uh, again, and Christine said thank you for saying hello to her friend. She went, thanks. And she and I particularly love the dancing. You are more than welcome for that. Uh, trained for many years. And here I am now proving my training as I crouch down, my knees aching as we speak. Uh, but remember, if you want to get ahead of the game, head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu, <laughs> and you can head to the shop the show. We are experiencing some problems. Come on, join me, Craig, down here. I feel like I'm on... I feel like, hello. Hello. Uh, we're going to press a button. So what may happen right now is you may lose us. Okay, uh, fingers crossed. If that is the case, do not go anywhere and we'll get it all fixed. George is working very hard behind the scenes. Fingers crossed. Everyone cross your fingers. <laughs> We're going to press the button. Let's see what happens.
back with it. Back with it. Back with it. Move like for the flag. Okay. Sorry. Hang on. So. Sorry, so sorry about that. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we've got everything sorted now. Touch wood, everyone. Touch wood. Uh, thank you so much. Sorry about that, guys. We are back live. Hopefully, you can see us on Facebook and YouTube. Hey, dear. Whew, wasn't that interesting, eh? Uh, right. Let me just double check. Someone's still with us on our Monday makers. Marianne, are you still with us? Uh, I'm here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> what did you do? What have you done? I'm joking. It's not your fault. Oh, bless you. You're all, my love. I know. Bless you. Right, let's oh. have a quick look at some of your wonderful makes that you've made for us. We'd love to see them. Oh, well, I made this with our heart die. Oh, wow, the shaped easels. Love that. Perfect. Yeah. I did it like in a in a Christmas card rather than just like a Valentine. Yeah, it's like a frozen thing. And then um Oh. Whoop. Oh look at that. What's that? Say? There's no situation that this is a card for you, Craig. There is no situation that cannot be improved with gin. Whoa. Love that. That is perfect. <laughs> Adore that, Maria. That is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank Love you. Me. I have to show you one more. Absolutely. This is for Go Craig, on. Because I would never have made one of these without him. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. With a wonderful little bee. It feels up. Yeah. Yes, Thank I you love for it. showing that. That's brilliant. That is gorgeous. Well, Marianne, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully, because it's been an absolute nightmare of a day, we will hopefully get you back uh, on a future show. Maybe on a craft long. You've been talking to Georgina in the break and said you're going to come on a craft long, maybe. Yeah. Well, absolutely. I would love that. I'd love it as well. I know experts would love it. Uh, honestly, keep getting involved. We love having you involved in the shows. We absolutely adore it. Uh, you are a legend, Scrap Paper Scissors. You are now a crafting yes. ambassador. Um, we will, I'll see you commenting. Literally, in two minutes' time, I'll get a comment saying, Scrap Paper Scissors says, and I'll be like, she's still watching. I love it. Uh, Marianne, you take care, my dear, and we'll speak to you soon. All right. Bye-bye, my lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, right, let's bring you some great more deals that we've got for you on this show. Uh, let's have a look at these wonderful... Well, we're looking at the uh, wonderful st aperture stamps. That's what we were doing before the break, weren't we? I don't, I don't know what happened before the break, what we were doing. Uh, remember those great designs, that's 70% saving for you today on your Ornate and these wonderful uh, aperture stamps. Starting off with your Ornate butterflies. You've also got the balloons in flight. The terrarium. Birds and Branches, Floral Heart, and Wild Bloom. Six great stamps with all those wonderful sentiments. So much within these, and that humongous 70% off. £23.38, $26.91. Remember, you could inspire discount applies to this £18.70 and $21.53. Craig, they are a great stamp and a great price. They're fab, aren't they? Yes. Do you know what's, what's lovely about them as well? And it might sound strange at first, but there's no dyes. Yes. Now, what I mean by that is, don't get me wrong, we love it when we get stamping dies together because you can do apertures and that. But sometimes they could be a little bit overpowering in the fact of it's like, right, how am I going to use the dies and the stamps together? So it's keeping it very quite simple. Then what we're going to then do is show you how you can just create a lovely stamp set. However, many of them have got simplistic shape apertures. Yes. So I'm going to use the butterfly. So the centre is nice and round. We've got one that uh, George showed a moment ago where it's kind of like a rectangle aperture in the middle. We've got one that's got like a square. So you can start to incorporate your nesting dies if you wanted to. Yeah. But you don't need to worry about how you're going to then cross-reference the stamp and the dies together. So what we're going to do is, I've got some of our watercolour card. I'm going to use our tricolours. Now, there is uh, the set on the show where you're getting the silhouette dies, the floral mm -hmm. silhouette dies. You're getting the uh, tricolours as well as some watercolour card. So that's where I've taken mine from. And I've got, as I say, my watercolour card. Yeah. I've cut it to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going in with a great outdoor set. And I'm going to go in with the sage. So I'm doing this straight onto my craft mat. If you've got Justin Gordon's craft mat, you could be using that one, no problem at all. And same with when it comes to actually stamping the butterfly, I'm going to use our stamping platform, but all of our stamps would work with Justin and Gordon's uh, stamp platform as well, so you can absolutely use that one. So let's lay down a load of colour, because these are aqua pens, water-based, we can then start to do lots and lots of different looks and colours. 
taken in, this is our spritzing tool. All that I've got in here is water, and let's really spritz that colour. And then all that I'm going to do to start with is let's just plonk our cardstock down. Pretty simple, nothing overly complicated other yeah. than plonking. Plonking, so get it down. Do I like that plonk. I like okay. that plonk it down. Slap it. It's like plunge. I like plunge. Plunge? Plunge. Pl they like the plus sound. Yeah, plunge and plonk. Works well together. Yeah. I don't know. Every now and again, I have the random words that I like that pop into my head. But then the more you water it down, the more sort of marbled effect you can get. Yeah. You can let it free flow and run back and forth. So if I wanted to have more of an effect, we can see how you can be getting that effect there. The more powerful you want it to be, add less water. And then therefore what's going to happen is you're going to get that striking colour from whichever colours you use. Mm -hmm. And then I don't want to waste all of this. So let's just take a piece of watercolour card. And then I'm going to mop up the excess with what I've got there. So that we're going to keep on going, taking as much as I can. And then what I would do is then I would just then let that dry, even take a little bit more of that remaining ink, because although it's very subtle on the glass mat, that's still ink. Glass mat being an on-porter surface, so therefore it's got nowhere to go other than sit on top. Yep. So activate it with more of your water, and you're going to take it all off. So then, once you've got as much as you feel that you can do, this is where, as I say, what I would do is I would let that dry, and then I would maybe just cut that down a little bit and then add that to my background box that I've got. But what we can then do is let's take my, um, my actual layer here. And what I want to show you the difference within two layers. So I've done one just before we went live for Monday Makers. Yeah. And I'll show you it. And I'd done exactly, exactly the same, the same two colours, sage and botanic natural. But what I didn't do is add as much water. Right. Look I at that. see, look at that. Same two pens, same water spritzer, same watercolour card. Great the only stuff. difference is I only done a few spritz. It was actually quite dry. That's why you can see a lot of the texture. Mm -hmm. That's why you've still got a little bit of the cardstock seen in the surrounding is because I didn't water it as much. So that goes to show the difference when it comes to your aqua pens. By adding water, you can really change the look of them if you want. So what I am going to do is, because that's still a bit damp, and obviously, we, uh, unfortunately, we've lost quite a bit of time with the, the little gremlins. What I will do is I will use this one here. Now we've created our own background. This could be, you know, the gorgeous paper from Vintage Butterflies. Yeah, of course. You know, even so much you can do with it. There's so much. There really, really is. You might want to use Country Garden. You can be doing that. But we are going to be using our backdrop that we've created. And then I'm going to go in. I'm using my stamping platform here. And I'm going to add my discs in. Let's go in with our butterfly. I always like to at least have one of the butterflies facing, you know, upright you know for me it's just a little bit more natural and pleasing on the eye so let's go that way because they're not symmetrical but i try this i know for many of you crafters at home this will make sense what i'm away to say although it's not a natural shape what i do is i position it until it looks natural on my eye right so it's sometimes for instance that it just doesn't It doesn't sit feel right, right with you. Yes, I get you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas we having it this way, we're having this butterfly here. I'm not sure if it's to do the shape or whatever it is. That looks more natural on my eye. So although it's not a symmetrical shape, still have a play about and see what looks right with your eye. You'll instantly know, oh, I like the look of that. That's where you're going to position it. So what I'm then going to do is we're going to come in with our... Um, base, or not a base, our lid, lid, platform, no, platform, and top, the, the top, platform, no, that's base. The base, platform, platform, that's it, platform, all yeah, about the platform, about the platform, yeah. so what I'm doing is because i done a background with our aqua pens, yep. it, that one is fully dry, so I could use something like my alcohol proof ink, if I wanted to, mm -hmm. or even my quick dry. However, because it was a water base and originally, I've just stuck with my watercolour uh, waterproof ink pad, which is the Noir Black. So making sure I give a really good coverage. 
bringing this one back in. And this is the sort of stamp set I would highly recommend our stamping platform, uh, Be Creative Stamping platform, because if I feel as though I've not got a complete coverage once mm -hmm. I start to lift, uh, then you know that you can go back in, re-ink, re-stamp, and get it in the exact position. Yeah. So there's a little bit here. Now, before I go and re-ink, if the ink's not there, it must still be on my stamp. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press that little bit first of all, then remove it, and see, that's filled it in perfectly. Great. So you don't always need to actually go and reapply ink. Yeah. Once again, non-pore surface, it'll sit on your never stamp. never thought of that. So therefore, yeah. always have a look. Because then what potentially you could do is if you re-ink the whole lot, you're going to get a darker surround on one side and it's going to be lighter on that part that you've got yes. um, the, the subtle, uh, subtle layers on. So always have a look, re-stamp again without inking, then if you need to ink, go ahead Perfect. and do it. Jill Crafts just said, I'll be creative due to be on the show. Yes, they are, we've had a few technical difficulties, which has pushed us back a little bit, but do not go anywhere. Uh, Gordon and Justin from Be Creative are going to be here very, very soon. They are indeed. So now what I'm going to do is, because you've got some different florals, you've got other butterflies, you've got your sentiment in here, I'm going to go in with the sentiment, and that says, if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. Aww. Similar to die cutting, if you wanted to do them both together, you could do. I do like to do them separate for the simple reason is I like to even out the pressure. Yep. So if we do both stamps together, there's a lot of pressure you're going to have to put down. So therefore, I like to do the surrounding first, then the sentiment. So going in once again with my ink. This is just our Noir Black. I'm going to go in here. We're then going to press. So if I press that one in, so we get a really good coverage. Remove that one. We've got a perfect, if not oh, look changed, at that. there'd be no butterflies. Great sentiment, isn't it? It's a really nice one, isn't it? Really nice one. And it can actually cover so many different things. It's the sympathy cards, I think. Exactly. That right. kind of statement, isn't it? If nothing changed, you know, unfortunately, things happen, we have to, you know, and that, that kind of sentiment. I love That's it. That's right. But then it can be completely the reverse. It could be so cheery, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, Just new that, jobs, oh, new homes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So then what I'm going to do as well is I love doing this technique here, mm -hmm. whereas similar to what we've done with the faux bleaching effect within the last demo, going to do that again, but we're going to pinpoint where we want to faux bleach. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the full wings of the butterfly. And because I use my waterproof black ink pad, I can do this. So what I'm doing with my, this is just a water brush, this is just water. What I'm doing is I'm colouring over the butterfly, then I'm going to go in with my kitchen roll and I'm going to take that colour off. Can you see already mm. it's taken that layer of colour off? Yeah. And then we can then pinpoint sections to do shadows if we wanted to, but I like to have that full butterfly wingspan lighter. Yeah. Exactly the same with your spritzing tool or anything water-based. The longer you leave it, the more it's going to lift the colour. But I'm not going to leave it for too long. I'm just going to do that one there and see how even lighter oh, it is. I love that, Craig. It's so, so smart. Yeah. It's so easy, but effective. unbelievably effective. Crafty Stacey Lou, gold would look lovely with this card. It, it would. would. really would. It really would. So think about your gold embossing powders oh, that you've yes. got. Start to use that one. It would work really nice. So let's go in. So I'm going to do the same with this one. I'll leave that for a second just for the ink to lift. What I can do is start to colour in this one. And I'm not going to do all the butterflies because I know we're short of time. But if I do every second one, then what you can see is that lovely effect that you can get. So let's go in with this. I think we've got an even an odd number here, but let's just go with it. So going in, let's go in with our water. And it is just water. Mm -hmm. Nothing special within this one. You don't want it to. You, this isn't the sort of thing you want to do with your clear sparkle overlay. No, all of course that you're not. doing is colouring it and then lifting it off. So that's a waste. But you can go in. And I'm not being neat even. I'm, all that I'm doing is making sure I coat my butterfly with the water. So let's take it in, go working our way around. 
And for time and speed, I'm doing the full butterfly. But as I was saying when we were doing this one, you could then start to cherry pick little sections mm -hmm. within the butterfly's wings if you wanted to. And it can look nice. Miriam was saying, I love that sentiment. It's a great sentiment. That's what I was, you know, just saying. It's such a, got a wide variety. And you're getting that within this set. Remember all those different sentiments you're getting, all different stamps. And you're getting 66 different elements for a 70% saving. £23.38, $26.91. And look at that Club Inspire. You're even going to get your Club Inspire discount on top of that already ridiculously good saving. So you're already getting a 70% saving. Take another 20% off that. That's the price you're paying. £18.70, $20. $21.53. A, a brilliant collection. Uh, scrap paper scissors. Mariam, how you doing? I knew she'd be back. Uh, that is so pretty. I always get such good ideas. Um, <laughs> great ideas watching Craig. I love it. Thank and Jill's you. gone, thanks George for answering my query. I didn't watch the earlier shows. I thought they might be all sold out. Hey, some stuff off B. Hey, listen. Here, now, come on. Be creative. Some of this stuff has sold out today. Uh, the wonderful uh, Ted, Ted, uh, Ted Wood. He's gone. He's uh, gone back to the Teddy Bear's picnic today. He has sold out. Some other items have. Uh, if you want to see what's still available, stay tuned or head to the website crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. Click shop the show and you can see everything that's still available from Be Creative. But I promise you, some stuff may sell out within the next hour or so. So if you are wanting anything, do not sit and wait. Check it out now. No. Well, have, you, have you bought anything today, Craig? Uh, not today, I've not, no. Been good? Not today. I do have my eye on um, a stamping platform now. I feel like your financial advisor at times. What was that? I feel like your financial advisor at times. I, I, know, I know you have to watch with me when, uh, <laughs> have you when I've got shows with um, anyone here. It is, it's, but the thing is, is, and I know we say it quite often, but it's true, you know, okay, we are here on these shows, but we are crafters. Do you mm. know what I mean? We use so many other companies' products in our own crafting at home. So it's, uh, it's certainly lethal for us, that's for sure. But what I've done there is where I've gone and coloured in with my water and the butterflies, all that I've done is very, very quick, little squiggly lines underneath the sentiment. And that's just giving that little bit of a shadow effect. So I've done it along, nothing specific, just very, very quickly, gone along, and then we've got that little base drop shadow that we can see. So if it's floating in mid air. Yeah. And then all that we need to do is we need to go in. I've already got my um, tape on this one. So if I take this one off, and something like this, I would tend to use black quite a lot, which is what I'm doing. Alternatively, you could be using a grey if you wanted mm -hmm. to. Or what you could do is use something like a, a gold, gold cardstock in the gold. backdrop. Yeah, that would gold work. And black. I wouldn't necessarily have the gold matte and layer quite thick. I right. would have even just something like this. A slither. Lither, a little slither, absolutely. <laughs> little slither. Black and gold, black and gold. Black and gold. Gold. Oh, yeah. Man, man, man. Great song. Susie has sound, everybody. Very good, Susie. Glad to have you back. So going in with <laughs> our me. black matte and layer. I don't even know. Is my card blank straight? No, it's not. Bear with me a second. Let's go in. So let's go in. Here we go. Not quite level. So let's level that up. Otherwise, we'll have a wonky matte and layer. And you know how much that'll annoy me. <laughs> so let's go into there. I wonder what you're going to say then. Wonky mat and layer. Well, it wasn't that that would annoy me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that would do. That would we all, we'll wake up call tomorrow, aren't we, Craigie boy? We are. Yeah. yeah. Me and you tomorrow. Wake up call. Wake up call and craft chat and create. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. Looking forward to it. It's been green uh, team. Sorry. Green team. Yeah, it's been a, a week or so since I've done a craft chat and create. So it'll be good to be back. Back. Um, Back with uh, yourself. Penelope's question for you, Craig. Yeah. Hi, guys. She went, embarrassed to confess. Do not be, never be no. embarrassed. Um, I blurred slash destroyed my card using the sparkle pen with the wrong stamp pad image. Which stamp pad or ink pad, I'm guessing, must you never use with a sparkle pen, please? So, so never use your... So, so I think we've stamped an image yep. with an ink pad and then our sparkle pen's damaged, taking off that ink in that ink pad. So what ink pad should you never use with a, a sparkle pen? 
Well, pen. just think of it as your sparkle pen is water-based. Right. So, therefore, you need your waterproof ink pad. Right. So, the one that's got the little paintbrush on the front. So, Perfect. answering your question, the one you don't want to use is your alcohol proof. So, the alcohol proof is the ones that's got the alcohol pen on the front. So, that's what you don't want to use. Uh, answering your question when it comes to the sparkle the one you do want to use is your waterproof because that sparkle is liquid it's water-based yeah. so you want your waterproof ink pad never be embarrassed Penelope because we're here to help you never absolutely. ever scrap paper scissors back in touch if I had do you know I heard the other day that there was a certain game taking place with you and Ben with you and was it you and Joe you and Ben and every time you and Ben said certain words it was the craft, the drink crafters drink. Oh, the crafters game. do. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, I think we should have one for scrap paper scissors. Every time we get a comment from scrap paper scissors, we have a mini egg. Uh, that is so pretty. I always get such great ideas watching Craig. Uh, Pammy on YouTube. The colours are perfect for spring. They it are. does feel a bit springy at the moment, doesn't it? Oh my it? gosh, how well was the weather? I know. know. Between like yes, sunglasses, one for driving today. Uh, see, my my sunglasses are. Um, they're, they're basic. They're they're black. Right. But they're broken as well. Oh no! What so happened? the my my right hand side, my right hand uh, eye, the lens keeps popping out every now and again. So I'm driving along, you know, with Proud Mary blasting <laughs> Tina Turner, and then as I go like that, and then just the, the lens <laughs> of the sunglasses it just pops out. But uh, yeah, I need new ones. But that's what you get when you buy cheap. There we go. <laughs> So we've gone in with the butterfly. So this is the ornate butterfly stamps. So we have created our own background with the great outdoors tricolour pen, spritzed with a little bit of water on a watercolour card. We then let it dry. Of course, I'd let mine dry beforehand. Then using our waterproof ink pad, we've stamped out the butterfly and the sentiment. But around certain butterflies, as well as the sentiment, we've created our own little faux bleaching effect by colouring in with a water brush that's just got water in it <laughs> and lifting off that colour with kitchen roll. Added a piece of uh, uh, black bow and a few gold pearls just to finish off. And there is your card. I'm going to let you into a little secret. That What's price up? on screen is 70% off. 70? 70. You can get the multi-buy today, two for £23 or $27. The price for six of these stamps it's £23, or, or sorry, it's $27. So it's cheaper for you to buy the full bundle than it is the multi-buy. Just bear that in mind. That is incredible. Let me remind you of the great six designs. Ornate Butterfly, which Craig's just used there for you. On that wonderful 70% off balloons in flight. You've got the Terranium. You've also got Birds and Branches. Floral Heart and wild blooms a 70 percent off you what the price you are paying there is for two of these stamps that is incredible you're getting four of them absolutely free 18 pounds 70 even cheaper on your club inspire 18 pounds 70 21 dollars 53 loads you get in touch uh, catherine i love that dappled effect craig has created in the background mary on youtube perfectly answered craig i love it when questions are thoroughly answered and includes visuals and dietis is on youtube one of the many good things about crafters companion tv you can always ask questions even if it has been addressed before and you might have missed it before. Thank you so much, a -Liv. We're always here to help you. Uh, guys, we've got loads more to get in. We're running a little bit behind. Do not worry. Be creative. I'm here in the studio. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick 
simplify all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Oh, welcome back to you, Monday Makers. A great show so far. Another lovely car says Linda. Uh, Miriam said, wow, that was great. Buy for all those stamps, really is. And Catherine said, I love that dappled effect. Remember, if you've got any questions you want to get involved, do. Uh, listen, while you're on the website today, don't forget it's our spring sale happening from now until Monday, uh, the 28th of March. So next till next Monday, a week today, uh, certain items up to 70% off on the spring sale. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk. EU. Have a look on there. While you're there, why not click shop the show and see the amazing deals we've got from everyone at Be Creative. Uh, Justin and Gordon are here in the studio getting themselves ready for a brilliant takeover. Remember, we've got so much great stuff. Uh, we'll say hello to the boys now. We'll say hello to Gordon. Uh, how are you doing, my good man? How is he going? I'm all right, thank you. Very good. So, Gordon, tell us, who is Be Creative? Me. That's you? <laughs> Perfect. Justin and I are Be Creative. We formed Be Creative, uh, oh, I think just less than 10 years ago, uh, to make all our own brand products under the Be Creative craft brand, which is what we do now. So we make stamps, we make dyes, we make the wonderful uh, Stampers Friend platform, and oh my God, lots of things, and our most famous product, which is uh, Spray and Boss, and Spray and Boss is now in its 17th year. Wow. And no matter what we do, this is our number one seller. We've done lots of things over the years, and this one beats everything. And even after 17 years, we can't cope with this product. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we'll possibly get Tony to show that. I know it went crazy early when we showed it. Uh, let's take you to some great deals that we've got today from Be Creative that loads of you are loving. Uh, it's back by popular demand. Sold out last time. We're starting off with your wonderful stamps. Uh, the Field of Poppies. Again, all individually. £9.99. $14.19. You're saving yourself over 15%. Remember, you're going to get your Club Inspired discount on these as well, which is incredible. <laughs> at £7.99. $11.59. Then you've got the Wings of Nature. Another great collection there for you i love the blue ticks uh, perfect there for you all the different examples uh, again club inspire available on that uh, this is brilliant we always one of the things i always think we struggle with on crafters uh, crafters tv is a masculine card i'm not saying women won't like these but i mean they're great and they've all got that description right and proper that really nice uh, vintage style term and great my granddad would love anything of that on at uh, nine pounds 99 14 dollars 49 this is incredible this is a humongous humongous stamp uh, it's the liberty collage it's there you've got the stars and stripes you've got the statue of liberty and all those wonderful phrase limited stock on this guys limited stock nine pounds 99 14 dollars 49 remember your club inspired seven pounds 99 11 dollars 59 if that is sat in your basket do check it out because it is limited stock 
Uh, loads of you going crazy for these brand new uh, stamps not seen before here on Crafters TV and loads of you loving them all right today. Unfortunately, Ted Wood sold out today. Oh, but we do have his other half, uh, the wonderful Tilly. She is still here. A brilliant stamp, and we'll, you know, these HD stamps are incredible. At £19.99, $28.99, at your club inspired price on this. At £15.99, $23.19. Uh, this is what she looks like when you've done all the wonderful elements, and I promise you, it's not hard at all. It's not hard layering stamps. If you love your layering stamps, you're going to love this. But guys, you need to be quick. Limited stock on that as well. £19.99, $28.99, your club inspired price. £15.99, $23 on your club inspired a platinum another element that has been popping today is dexter loads of you loving dexter the dog he is here i mean he's here in his little bow tie and his little hat which i've just there his little bow tie do, 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 do. love that as well at 19 pounds 99 28 dollars 99 at your club inspired discount on that 15 pounds 99 23 dollars 19 you're gonna get so many great elements within this uh, this is what you're gonna be getting within this collection for you today all the different stamps which again that wonderful layering effect that you absolutely love uh, to create these great stamps in brilliant detail Dexter is great he's got all the wonderful elements as well uh, with the hat the bow tie so you can make him a, a gentleman little guy you can make him whatever you wish a brilliant price uh, this is what you're getting within this collection as well uh, limited stock with dexter today limited stock on dexter with that wonderful step here's everything that you can make with dexter the wonderful monocle top hat uh, some great little elements so much love for it uh, loads of you loving this day from be creative but loads of their items are going limited stock so if you've got any in your basket i do not sit about with them um one of the things that we've talked about is a spray emboss. Absolutely loving that. And I know I, I, you, I saw it earlier and I couldn't believe it, what you did with that wonderful stencil. Yeah. So please tell us, what is spray right. emboss? Well, spray emboss, I invented it 17 years ago. We invented it to enhance embossing with all sorts of things, stencils, brass stencils, you name it. Spray emboss, we invented it to change the makeup of the fibres in card and paper, which was the only thing, way we could do this. So Spray Emboss is a magical product in the way it works. The best thing to do is to show you Spray Emboss. So, as the name suggests, it was all about embossing in the early days. I have your normal plastic stencil here. There we go. And I have a piece of card. My card is 320 grams. So it's not thick, it's not thin card. Let me show you what we do. We take Spray Emboss, we spritz the card evenly on both sides. Spritz Emboss is a very fine mist spray. We leave it on the card for about 30 seconds. And then what we do is we run it through our die cut machine. We don't use any shims. We don't use anything that's not supposed to come with our machine. Okay? So we take our stencil. We place it on the center of our machine. Our piece of card that we've just spritzed. And remember, this is 320 gram thick card we're using. We're not cheating by using thin card. That would be too easy. I don't want to do that. I want to show you how good spray emboss is. We put our embossing mat on. We cover up with our top plate. I'm just going to run it forward and back once. And you can do this in any machine you have, as long as you have an embossing mat, which I would assume most of you have with your die cutting machine. So once forward and back, that's what I like to do. And let's have a look. So remember what I said? This is 320 gram card with a thin stencil, and you all know that's not normally what you would do, because not an awful lot will happen. You will use thinner card to do this. Well, let's have a look at the result. So, let me turn that around like that. Wow. Yep. Look and at I that. And I want you to see the depth <sighs> of the embossing we have achieved that is on incredible. there. incredible. I'm going to turn it around so you can see the deboss side. Can you see that? Now, have you ever achieved embossing like that on card that thick? I can even achieve that depth of embossing on over 400 gram card. Wow. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you, how to solve your embossing problems. What about your die cutting problems? Well, spray emboss was invented. It was all about uh, the embossing problems. And then we came across the problem with the intricate dies. And here we are. Here is my number one nightmare die from <laughs> the past 17 years. The die we always used to struggle with. But of course, then we realized that we had something called spray emboss, and what could we do? Well, uh, here is my trusty die cutting machine once again. I'm just going to take the two cutting plates. Okay. Now, I do not want to run this die through 10 times. 
I do not want to pack my machine up with shims of any type because that's what breaks your machine. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do? I'll put the die down on my plate, right in the middle, not at the corner, not at the side. We take our 320 gram card again, very thick card for that detailed die. We spritz the card on both sides again, evenly like that. And we leave it, remember the golden rule? My golden rule is about 30 seconds. The longer you leave it, the better it is. You can let it dry and do it, and you will get the same results. Well, I'm going to go now. So we're right in the center of our machine. I've covered over with that thick card. Let's now cover over with the top plate. There we go. And I'm going to run it once back and once forward. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the results. But then I also want to solve a problem that a lot of you run into with your dies. Mm -hmm. What people don't realize is, I don't know if it's a situation now, but certainly in the early days of die cutting, there was a 20% failure rate. But sometimes you couldn't always see it, so those dies escaped through and people ended up with them uh, at home and of course they didn't work. So first thing is, can you see how that die has cut all the way through already. But let's supposing you had a really bad die and you had part of your cutting edge there was not cutting no matter what you do. How do I solve that problem for you? I take the card embedded in the die. I take my spray emboss, 12 inches away, remember, and it's a quick blast on the back of it again, paying attention to any part that really isn't cutting. Now, we ran it through that way the first time. This time, I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. I'm going to put it right in the center of my machine again. Yep. Remember, no added shims of any type. Back and forward once more. So, this is to solve the real nightmare die problems. Um, everyone has them, we have them, everyone has them. Okay, so forward and back once more, and that's all we want to do. So my golden rule for Spray Boss is no more than two passes through your machine, okay? If it's any more than that, then I would take the die back, honestly, because it would mean there is a, something really badly wrong. The proof is in the pudding. We hold that like that. Oh, wow. Let's see what happens. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. We've got these little bits here. Just to show you, every little bit on here is cut. I'll just do that, pull them all out. There we are. And that is perfect. Now then, your spray emboss dries in less than a minute. It doesn't stop you doing any of your coloring or anything you normally do. If anything, it enhances your coloring. So we've now solved your embossing problem. We've now solved your die cutting problem. And later on, once uh, we've done a few other things, we will come back and I'll look at maybe sculpting a flower and show you how that works. So now I'm going to move on to some of our high-definition multi-layer dies. Perfect. So I'll get my Stamper's Friend ready. Now, our Stamper's Friend Pro has a full A4 centre. Inside here is a full A4. For the viewers in the USA, A4 is just slightly bigger than your US letter size. So your letter size will fit in the middle of there without any problem whatsoever. There's a foam base. The foam base can be removed. If you removed it, that makes space for the thicker rubber dies. But we leave that in there to use our, our clear stamps. Our, you get four strong magnets as well. You can see them holding the card in place. If I close the lid and turn it over, the back of the tool is also magnetic and it has a sponge backing. So you could use the back of the tool and put your card on there with the magnets to do things like colouring or yeah. drawing or whatever you want. So you can bo use both sides of the tool. So I'll turn it over again. The tool is made of sturdy bonded material. Every part of this tool is bonded together for strength. This tool does not bend like other tools. It is incredibly sturdy. It is not made from moulded plastic, which means we need, we need less pressure to do our stamping because the, the lid does not bow. No part of this tool bows at all in the centre. Therefore, your stamp image will always be perfect. So, we'll open the tool up. First thing we're going to go with is Tilly the Bear. Tilly the Bear is a three-stage multi-layer die here, uh, multi-layer stamp. Now, the first one is your basic shape. Yep. We're going to sit that down there. 
you always try and start with your lightest colour and you build up to your darkest colour. But it's up to you what you do because the idea, have fun with colour. We're doing a bear here, a highly detailed bear, and of course a teddy bear nowadays can be any colour you yeah, want it absolutely. to be. So I'm going to do the first stage, the background, using this beautiful lilac colour. He can be the backing, the first layer of the bear. So we just add our link over here. We bring that over like that, press down. Okay, you can either press down with your fingers. The beauty of this platform is, I said, the lid does not bend. You can, if you have problems with your hands and your fingers, you can take a cloth and you can do it like that. You roll your cloth into a ball. How simple is that? It takes all the stress off of your hand and your wrists if you wish to do that. And the reason for that is the lid does not bend. Okay, let's just make sure we've got that inked up. Yep, that's our first layer. I'll put the lid back on there. We'll remove this one. Then you go for your second layer. The second layer adds a little bit more definition. So we overlay that over the first one like that, very carefully, looking through the stamp. You can see where that goes. We bring our lid down. Let's do that. Pick up the stamp once more. Let's go with our second colour. This time, I'm going to go with this light brown. We put this on here. Okay. Remember the other the beauty of the stamping platform is that if at first you don't succeed, try, you stamp. try. Yeah, again. you can try, try again. Yeah. You can stamp over and over because it's all held together with these strong magnets and nothing is going to move. So we'll put the second layer on now. Now I might do the second layer twice. I'm using a fairly light brown there. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to show up against the lilac, so I might just put two layers of that on. We'll just put a little more on there. Yeah, and absolutely. Press it down again like that. Okay, so you can use your fingers, you can use your palm, or as I say, you can use the cloth technique and just do that because the lid does not bend. And that is the beauty of our new platform. So we've done that layer. We will remove that one, put my ink pad back, and we're now going to take the third layer. Now then, you will notice that my card here, I have it batted up to the sides of the tool. There is a reason as to why I have done that, and this will prove to you why we need all of the sides on our stamping mm -hmm. tool. So we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go with the third layer now. We'll line Tilly up again. There we are. I think we've got it. Over again. Close up. Bring the stamp up. So this time we're going to go... I think this is, I think it's a dark brown, might be black, but I think it's dark brown. We'll go with this one here, okay, and this is the one that brings everything to life. The final layer is the one that makes the whole thing pop out. It makes yes. it look like a photograph, to be honest. Okay, so we'll just press that down, make sure we press every little bit of the stamp. You can actually see how this is going to look by looking yeah. through the stamp lid. You can see exactly what's going to happen in a second. Okay, let me just have a look. A little bit more there. Teasing is there. Okay, and oh, there wow, we have look at that. the bear. Isn't that wonderful? Love See the it. detail? It's like one of those modern fluffy teddy bears. Yes. The whole thing now comes to life. Now, why did I leave my card at the side here? What am I up to? Let me show you. I'm not <laughs> finished. I want to show you something else. So I'm just going to quickly wipe my lid there. I'm going to take my final stamp. I'm yep. just going to remove a couple of the magnets. I don't need them. While you do that, can I just ask a question? Heidi's yep. asking, does the stamping platform come in the uh, imperial or metric rulers? Uh, it's, it's metric all round it. All yeah. metric all round it. It's easy, very easy to do a conversion if you need to, to be honest. It's not yep. that difficult. Uh, but we did a lot of feedback on when we were doing the tool. Yeah. Majority of people by far asked for the metric measurements. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. So what we're going to do now, my card is batted up to the side here because I'm not finished. I'm mm -hmm. now going to take this Tilly and I'm going to put her just about there, okay? I'm going to bring that over like that. I'm going to get my ink. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to create the whole card using Tilly the Bear. So let's bring this one over, press it down like that. Yeah, open it up like that. Now, oh. I put my card there for a reason because what we're going to do now, we're going to turn the card. We're going to Please. use the sides. Yeah. Put the magnets back on. The stamp says where it is. We do not want to move our stamp. 
so the stamp stays there. We let the tool and the card do all the work. Mm -hmm. We do not move the stamp. Okay, we'll do that again. Same thing again. We take our card. Whoops. I'm getting trouble with my magnets. On again. Let's ink Tilly up again once more. Okay, down again like that. Press it down like that. A little bit more pressing there. There we are. Yep, that's it. And over again like that. Like that. Put my magnets on. See how quickly I'm doing this as yeah. well to create this whole card. How easy it is. And the stamp has not moved. The stamp stays in the same place. The tool and the card are doing all the work for us. Press that again, like that. Okay, right, I'm not finished. That's good what we've done so far, but we're not finished. I don't like all these white bits, so I'm going to take the stamp again, and I'm going to place it, uh, I think, about there. Yep, that will do, I think. Let's pick Tilly up again, like that. Let's add a bit more ink. Here we go. Yep. Let's bring it over again, like that. Press down. Ink up. You know what we're going to do I next. Love it. Yeah. I love this technique. We're going to turn our card like that again. Back to the edge. Ink Tilly up again. Okay, a bit more ink. Oh. Let's press it down again. See how quick this is? This yeah. is, a, this is speed stamping. Oh. Down speed again. stamping. Let's turn it again. So, the so again, the tool is doing all the work for us. Yeah. Okay, we're keeping the stamp in the same place. We're making this as simple as possible. Let's press it down again. And we've got one more to go. Let's turn it round again. Round like that. Bat it up to the corner, back on with our magnets. Let's ink it up again, like that. Now, we can do this with Tilly and Dexter. Uh, those of you who bought Tedward earlier on, you can do it with Tedward as well. And let's finish it there. So, oh, hold on, I can see a bit of mist. Press that down there. I don't like that. Let's move the magnets off. Oh, that was hard work. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. But see what we have done. Easy. We've created the most wonderful teddy bear. What are we doing now? All it needs now is a little sentiment, matted and layered, maybe up in the corner there saying best wishes, happy birthday, or whoever you're sending it to. And I mean, come on, who? that's going to put a smile on the face of anyone receiving that card. Absolutely. Yeah? You could do it in whatever colours as well you wanted. If you want to do that effect, uh, you could do it maybe in your favourite football club colours, your yeah. uh, baseball, basketball, whatever you wish. Uh, loads of love. Uh, loads of you talk yeah. about Dexter, which I think is brilliant. Um, Mary, it's gone from one extreme to the other. Mary Reno goes, Dexter is so cute. And then Fred171, <laughs> Dexter looks like someone I dated once. So I don't, he's gone from one extreme to the other. I don't know where we're going. Uh, loads of love for Spray and Boss as well. Uh, Pammy said, I keep forgetting I want to make some paper flowers with the Spray and Boss. Kim uh, Nesbitt Edwardson said, I have Spray and Boss and love it. And loads of you saying how much you love the outfit, love the outfits, but love the waistcoats. Catherine said, I do appreciate how the Be Creative team dress up with their smart waistcoats. They really do. Um, they look gorgeous, the waistcoats today. I feel underdressed, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I saw Ben in his waistcoat, and I felt really underdressed. Uh, Dieta said, a bear paw stamp or would be cute adding between each bear or a heart or something. That's yep. the thing with these stamps and that stamping platform, is that you can have so much fun creating whatever you, you want. You really can. And we don't just stamp card and paper, by the way. Yeah. We put MDF in there. We do MDF and all Perfect. sorts of weird things. Yeah, yeah. why not? Absolutely. And yeah. Fred once said, went, unbearability, unbearability cute design. I love that. Unbe <laughs> unbearable. Yes, you guys. Well, you we're, going, guys. we're going to quickly do Dexter. Let's do Dexter. I love Dexter. But I'm favorite. not going to do the whole card because yep. uh, I want Justin to get to his wonderful demos with, with the new ones. So we're going to use the same colors. Yep. A bit of speed stamping here again. So here we go with Dexter. This is the first layer. This is your background layer. Always make sure you put enough ink on. That's important. We'll bring Dexter over like that. Let's just press him down. Make sure we get ink all on our card. So I've uh, used the violet color again. I like doing Dexter, Tilly, and Tedward using wonderful colours. There's our background. We've done that one. We remove that one. We take the second one, which is this one here, the small one. You do get instructions on the back of each set as well, right. so don't worry about that. It's very, very simple. We put Dexter on there, the second stamp. Hold on, I think that's lined up. Yep. Bring him down. Do that. Up again. Uh, so again, I'm going to use the light brown. Let's do that. 
Remember, if at first you don't succeed, you can stamp as many times as you like because the magnets are holding everything in place. So don't worry if you have that problem. Remember, you can press down like I did a second ago or you can take the little cloth and do the cloth technique. If you have problems pressing down on the stamping platform, just take your little cloth, add a little bit of pressure, up and down, round and round. That's all you have to do. We've done the second one. We're now going to go for the final layer. And as we all know, this is the one that brings them to life. So top layer like that. Let's make sure we've got that lined up. Okay, press it down like that. This time we're going to go with the, I think this is the dark brown again. My mm -hmm. eyes are deceiving me at the moment. I think that's the dark brown. It may be black, but I think it's dark brown. <laughs> so off we go again. Dexter can, is wonderful. Dexter can be anything I you want. Him. He can be a sailor. He can be anything. He can do. Uh, Lorraine said, does the spray emboss ship to the US? Of course it does. Um, yes, Georgie, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong there. Yeah, but I'm sure we, it does. Yeah, yeah. We'll absolutely. We'll be shipping to the US for 17 years with spray emboss without see? any problem. There you are, Lorraine. Yeah. We did once have a distributor in the USA, um, and we used to sell tens of thousands. Unfortunately, they retired, so uh, you have to get it from the UK now, I'm afraid. But will you ship it across, don't you worry? Yeah, you it's do. He's in a boat. He rows across in a little dinghy, in a little boat. Yeah. He's got his little oars, and he comes and delivers it. No, he's, he's, right. he's swan boat. He's swan <laughs> The pedal swan boat. <laughs> for Dexter, I, did, I need a drum roll for Dexter. OK, I can do that for oh, you. Here we go. Drum roll. That will do, that will do, don't go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dexter is wonderful. One, two, three. And hey, there we there have he Dexter. Is. Yep, see the detail. See the, the, the life life, li the lifelike look of the fur is yes. incredible. And let me just bring this over because we did Tilly a minute ago. We went all around the car. But this is the one I did earlier on. Oh, I love so this I'll one. I'll just show you that again. You can see what we did there, the same as we did with Tilly. Mm -hmm. We went all around like that. Very, very simple using the stamping platform to do it. You send that to anyone, they will have a big smile on their face. There they really go. would. Do you know, I think the best way to describe the quality of this stamp and that effect is a, uh, a child's illustration. You know, in the book, if there are stories about, you could read a book and you would imagine seeing that quality of Dexter in a book, the stories of him, it's a brilliant price as well. Scrap paper scissors, I, I love the fox and the bee stamp, so cute and versatile. Drink, scrap paper scissors. Uh, right, let's have a look at little Basil, the mouse. Here he is, and he looks blinking adorable, doesn't he? Look at little Basil there. Oh, I adore him. Uh, £16.99, $24.49 for the wonderful little Basil. Uh, guys, if you're looking at that going, oh, that's a lot of fussy cutting, don't forget, you can buy the dies separate to these stamps, uh, all available for you on the website. But here are Basil stamps, £16.99, $24.49, when we club and spy discount. Uh, there it is for you today. Uh, then 40% of the stock has gone on Basil. Um, then if you want the dies, guys, then you need... To, you, you need then you need to get the uh, separate for you. The dies are available for you. They're £16.99, $24.49. No. Uh, Fiona the Fox, you're talking, fuck there. Uh, here's Fiona the Fox for you today. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Uh, a great little, I love this Fiona Fox. She is brilliant. A great stamp for you as well. Multi layering available on this, like you've seen there with Dexter and you've seen with Tilly. £16.99, $24.49. Uh, your Club Inspire discount applies to that as well. Uh, there is a stamp with all the wonderful elements. And remember the guys were saying that all the stamps are interchangeable. So if you want to put uh, the hat on someone else, and you can do that. You can also buy the dies as well, guys, if you want to do the fussy cutting with the Fiona. Uh, there they are for you at £16.99, $24.49 for the uh, wonderful dies for Fox. Oh, here they come. Even better. Uh, here are the dies for you guys. There it is for you. A brilliant collection. Really a great addition to those stamps for you. Then we've got Lily the Ladybird. There she is, looking on Stathy. At £16.99, $24.49 for you on this, saving yourself 15%. Remy Club and Spire discount applies to this at £13.59, $19.59. They are the layering stamps if you so wish to do that. All the different elements there. And again, you get all those wonderful sentiments. But again, you've also got the dies available for you today at that great price at $16.99, $24.49. And again, saving yourself 15%. There's Arthur the Bee, he's landed. Uh, I would be a great piano player. Uh, 16, oh not me, 
Director George. Fine, I thought I'd be great at playing piano. It's fine. Uh, £16.99, $24.49. For Arthur the Beast, forget about me. Uh, Club Inspire Platinum Price, £13.59. 50% 50 of Arthur has gone. Hey, Arthur! He has disappeared. 50% of the stock. And your Club Inspire uh, discount as well. And you've also got the options of the dies as well. For you today at $16.99, $24.49, and 15% um, don't forget as well, you've got the wonderful, cheers Trace, uh, you've got the wonderful craft mat as well for you today, uh, which has been brilliant, the Stay Put craft mat, uh, $23.99, $34.89, a 15% off saving, £19.19, $27.91 on your Club Inspire, uh, Scrap Paper Scissors, I love, I love the Fox and Beast stamp, so cute and versatile, they really are incredible. Right, we've had Gordon, we've now got Justin, what are you doing, what's Justin doing there in the corner, Abby? You're probably the mobile. Yeah, my mobile. I'm having a little twirling with the mobile. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> with the ladybird and the bee. How are you doing? Uh, Justin, how are you? I'm very good. Very, very good. good. Yep. So, what are you going to be showing for us? I'm going to show you Lily and Bez of the Mouse. Perfect. So, I'm just going to do those two. So, i just like just to show you all that, that old step craft mat. Yes, please. Is. I can't remember the size. What's the size? Uh, I want to say. I can't remember. Huge. Uh, I know. I, I've just... It's huge. It's yes. basically it covers about the whole de uh, uh, what, half of your desk, I yes. guess, or depending on how big it is. And then, so can you can see that like all nice and shiny yep. on the end. It's basically it is where the magic happens. Right. And then all you need to do just slate them all there, and then it just clings over and it does not move. You may have some very cheap very very cheap ones which is basically when you're working on your craft mat you try to do blending or heating whatever and then you start moving around you need to tape it and glue it underneath yes. or if 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 you have glass mat it's too heavy yes and then for you to carry this is your mat because you can solvent of it you can do soldering on it and heat ironing as well it's all heat resistant heat proof and you can actually do all your heat embossing powders and then you can acrylic ink acrylic paint all your paste on there and then you can literally just scrape it off it will not harm your mat and Perfect. then the good thing for you is is for you is that it can be rolled up and away you go lovely so your craft, craft Perfect. for your craft good. workshop yeah. and then go back there and then you will get that part there. Love that. I think what we're going to do one day, maybe you should mess up a mat completely. Yeah. yeah. One day we're going to do that and I'm going to show you how durable this mat yeah, is. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Is this an indestructible craft mat? I, absolutely. It can be when they mess with mixed media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what happens here now? Um, if this is, a, of course, we have our stampers front and this is Lily. So yeah. when you re receive, when re when you receive a lily stamp and then you have to buy you have to buy the dies for much easier work and then it cuts out and gives yeah. you more dimensional to that which is a big recommendation for my part and then all you do is to go to the back and that's where it tells you which area from the step one step two three four five six and it's eight yeah, yeah and that's the final voila you Hooray, you've done your lily the <laughs> lady bird. <laughs> so the first step from that, all you need to do to prepare, just get one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to do a party hat okay. for Lily as well. And a little celebration tonight, so, isn't it? Oh yes, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> so once we have that one done, you can actually use your Semper's friend in the area as much as you want. And I'm just going to do that one there. Actually, I'm going to stamp up the little stamped sentiments for you as well. Okie dokie. So you can actually take a look at that. It's sort of in one piece of paper. I do not want to waste a piece of paper. Perfect. And the okay. stamping platform size, that's an A4 it's size. A4 in size. Yes. yes. And then what happens is, that is your A4 size card. And you've literally put it there. Perfect. And it, it is bigger than uh, US letter size. Yeah. So it's have ample room for you to play Perfect. with. Perfect. Okay, the fun is just clip it there and we're just going to use black or you can just use a grey. But I try and tend to use black uh, during demonstration and uh, on tally because mm -hmm. it just stands up better for Absolutely. you to look at the images and how it looks like. 
So we should start getting you crafting, George. Hey, listen, I, I, you want to know me? Is I'm good at crafting. Doctor dots. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Doctor dots. Don't you worry. I did do a bit of decoupage last week. Actually, oh, dear. I was very good. I was very good. Okay, so once you're there, and then if you have missed up slightly, and then all you need to do is just do that and we stamped it. For me, that part there is because I've not inked it properly. Yep. All you need to do, that's a joy with Stamper's friend, just re-ink it, or just do it and then you, away you go. It is a fantastic tool that is, will help you save time and mm -hmm. effort on your stamping projects. And then once you get that one done, just do that and then in, in, in. If you know we pinch the area, just pinch a little area. Yeah. And a little pinch. And let's have a play. Love it. Okay. Little slap. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, actually, just slap yeah. that. Bad, bad Stampers friend. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. That just happened. I love it. But good, good, good boy or girl, whichever. <laughs> but nice and good boy. <laughs> oh, you can tell you've been here all day, can't you, boy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when you lined up your, t uh, your Lily, the, li Lily the Bear, I was going to say Lily the Bear, Lily, the ladybug yes. or lady the bird just make sure those eyes is matching there and the feet is is matched there once you get that aligned you will not have any problem to go with the next one so i'm going to put my little party hat there as well and this is the little sentiment you are so love oh lovely so we like to send all our love to all the viewers out there <laughs> perfect <laughs> love oh, it okay. There it is. There's the log. <laughs> okay. okay, so the next one I'm going to do, I have not, I've lost my peachy ink pad, so mm -hmm. I'm just using a little, little yellow one. Okay, okay. For me, it's, uh, we just have to use what you call um, alternatives at the moment. Yeah. Do apologize. Okay, so once you have that, just bring that area through, and then I'm going to use the little violet. Jill Craft just said, I thought the ladybird was, was the bee with an identity crisis, but she said it's so cute. But you can interchange the stamps from the bee with the ladybird, can't you? They're all interchangeable, the, the stamps. Accessories, yeah. Yes, yeah, accessories, yes, 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 the accessories, yes. Yeah. They are fantastic to be, to be able to swap with each other. Absolutely. And then I'm just going to have that area there. And then I'm just going to, that's where you have a little. But if you like to add a bit more color, please do. And then just put in more color there. Just make sure sometimes impact can be a bit juicy, yep. but you may need to go for a bit a bit of coverage. Absolutely. Yeah. Because some not not, not all the impacts are the same. No. <coughs> okay, so once you finish that then that's the second layer. All you need to do is to lay on top of the eyelet of of Lily. Okay. But this time I'm going to use the same color again. And then I'm going to put my party hat there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that and get that down. And then I'm going to use the next light there. Okay. And then just to the party hat. And then I'm going to do a second layer for that. For that at the moment. Yeah. Or actually, I'm going to change the next color, give it a nice, nice darker color. I was just going to use sort of more subtle, but I just thought maybe no, I'll go for a darker yellow. Yeah. And then just give it a much more dramatic view to that. Lovely. So once you finish with this, and that's where you look at the party hat, the amount of detail on the party hat with the white shadow. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That little addition just makes it yes. so 3D. Yes, it does. So then my little mouse mouth there, and then I'm going to use a little pink for the areas apart from my nose. I'm going to use give give her a nice red nose. Do you want these to be perfect for? You have got kids in crafting. Yeah. Yes, you want it is definitely. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, George, it's definitely it's it's all. You can actually just do just love the kids when they do from the face that they create the color the whole yeah. thing. Okay, so just do that and then just press it down, and then if you want a bit more, you can do oh, a bit okay. more, and then just I'm just trying to get everything done to so just get it done quickly. Okay, so I can show you bezel. Bezel is actually one of my favorite one. Is it? Yes. Okay, so That'd once you finish with that, and then you can add color mm -hmm. to Lily. You can have brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. 
but I'm going to use more like a terracotta, uh, not terracotta, sorry, it's more of like a marine mm -hmm. turquoise look to the eyes. And then do that. And then the next one I'm going to do will be the wings. Lovely. Okay. And then you see. Oh, wow. It just then, changes the colour of the eyes. It yeah, it, it does. It does. It's just by putting that, it just pop. It makes mm -hmm. it pop. It gives it a much better look to that. And then once I'm going to do is now just the final one is the little wink. And then I'm just going to just... Uh, loads of lovely Sherry Dolber. These characters are so adorable. Pammy, I just love Gordon and Justin. They're so fun. Uh, loads, of <laughs> great fun. I think everyone's having such a good time okay. watching these. Then that's oh. where you have Lily, the ladybird. And is that the white lines? They're all part of the stamp on the shell there. That's the that's the stamp. Yeah, that, that is the shadow. Love that. Great when stuff. I, when I designed that, I took it out. I wanted it to be more dimensional. Yeah. So that is where the shadow comes in. And then just like to know if you do get the the dive dies yes. with the ladybird with the ladybug just make sure that the this sentiments does not actually cuts out from the die right the die is is a word of its own which yeah. is like that which you will cut out with that but you can still make and layer with that as well i see Perfect. it's because when i did the die cut or else everything would start popping out it's easier yeah. for them to just cut once and did it absolutely okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to cut that out mm -hmm. quickly then, or should we do bezel the mouse first, the colour? I think, let's, what do you think, Georgia? I'm thinking cut out. What are you thinking, Georgia? I think okay, cut, cut out. out. Yeah. Yeah, just see how, how yes. easy it is to cut out. <laughs> okay, so I just let that through, and then I'm just going to use the party hat. Because they're big dimes, those as well, aren't they? Yes, they are, and then they have a shadow as well to yeah. go with it as well. It is perfect for it. And then I'm going to cut out, okay, oh yeah, Lily. <laughs> That's what the main point is, is to cut out Lily. <laughs> you want to see Lily, of course. Yes, and I have to think about it, do I? <laughs> so you just line that up for your party hat, and then just, just make sure that you do not move that area, and then when you're doing it, just hold to the side, like so. And then lay, and then we have, and then just put it through. I'm just trying to reuse my tape. <laughs> okay, and then just get that one down there, and then just recycling tape, just there. And I'm sure all of you put all your tapes on your machines like I do as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that we do. Okay, so once you finish that, just use the Gemini and just shim it with whichever and then just die cut up on top and that and then away we go perfect straight through the gemini machine don't forget yeah. uh, crazy we join us back here in the studio it is monday makers uh, of course we've got some great stuff uh, we've also got some voting for demo of the show and demo of the day at uh, lows still coming up in the next hour <coughs> or so here on crafters tv yep so once i get that and then just trying to undo the tape yeah there you go and then just trying to get, oh, she's already there. <laughs> Love it, she's already popped out, she's flown away. She's already popped out. <laughs> okay, so that's where you have that, like the lily. And then of course you have the shadow, which I already pre-cut out, just to show you how it's going to look like. Oh, great. And then that, oops. Okay, so that's lily. And can of course she has a little party hat. Of course. There, what and then or she has a balloons as well. Then she her hands actually pops out and then you can literally there. You can slide whatever you want to slide in there. <gasps> oh. Okay. And then once you slide there and then or you can use a little bowl, which is there. That is great. Look at the fun you can have with this. Yeah, and then the balloon just slides too, and then you can interchange that with that, and then this is how flexible those yeah. details are. Okay, so that's Lily. So what I have a time later, if I can shape those two together with Basil the Mouse, that would be yeah. fantastic. So now I'm going to go to Basil the Mouse. Oh, oh, fantastic. Plenty of do time. more shaping yeah, later. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do, uh, do let's see, 
Where we are. Hey, pencil, pencil, pencil. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bezel. I'm going to use the cupcake. Okay. And bezel the mouse as well. So I'm just going to pop everything up there. I'm going to clean that later. Has it basil been it one of those It is fantastic popular, because yeah. it's what is my favorite. It's literally a genuinely my favorite one. I love it. Okay, so we're going to take one, two, three. Then my cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you will see why I have created so many layers of it. I was going to say, you know, when you think of, of all the <laughs> of all the things to have the most layers, I wouldn't think it'd be the cupcake, but the cupcake's got the most layers. Can't wait yeah. to see that when it's all like, stamped yes. out. Yes, and then just we have that bezel up there <laughs> and the cupcake up there. And I have to say that I, I, I'm sitting here and I keep looking at this platinum price. I know, it's incredible. And, uh, it? I, I have no idea how you do it, but it's to me, it's amazing. It, it is really incredible. Is. Extra 20% off. Remember yeah. as well, if it is your first time shopping with us and you've never used Club Inspire before, you will get 20% off your first order. It's completely free yeah. to sign up. Plus, you get 250 yep. bonus points, which go. takes you to bronze, and then every order after, you get 5% off. Wow, and you work your way. It's incredible. Deal. It's so easy as well. Yeah. yeah. Great deal. <laughs> All right, so that's my first layer, which I, again, bezel the mouse would have on the back of the packaging, thus tells you instructions as well. So this is the second one. So I'm just going to layer that on top there, and just make sure the layer is the ears, loops, and of course it's feet, okay? And the eyes, then close down. Oh, sorry, I'm my mistake, I forgot about my cupcake. Yeah. Okay. Just, I'm just going to do a strawberry ribble. Ooh. Yeah, and then right I'm now. just going to have that part there as well. I'm going to do that later because area there. Okay, so just match it. Let's close that. And then use my words. I always want cake, Georgina. That question. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Christine has gone home. That's I know, her uh, cakes are dangerous what they are. I have my... <laughs> oh, that will chocolate Oh, cake. yeah. <laughs> she makes I don't think that's cakes, big enough to share. Carrot cake, <laughs> you name it, we've had it. Her Rice crispy cake yep. today oh, was wonderful. Okay. It's great, it's great, yeah, isn't it? I'm just yeah. going to use a lighter there. Actually, I'm going to do a strawberry frosting, actually, on my cupcake. Lovely. And then... This time, I'm not going to re-ink bezel. I mm -hmm. just wanted it to have what to call a bit of texture to that. Yeah. yeah, can you see all those some bits that mm. I missed? And because I like the bits like that, because it gives me much texture to it. If you want a second layer, just ink it, put a second layer. Yeah, that, it's that giving that, it's not a matte effect. It's more of a ripple yeah. into texture. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then that's where you will have your cupcake uh, and then you cut what the cupcake wrapper and then yes and then we have the final one and then just make sure everything lines and everything lines there which looks good to me and then i'm just going to use i mean this is one of those sets which you will really take your time with obviously we're going a bit faster, but you want to make sure it's lined up, perfect. Yes. Take your time with it. It's going to look great once you've, once you've Yes, it will. It. Just take your time because yeah. um, it's, if you want to take, just take your time and look into it and then that, that is brilliant. So all you need to do, yes, the result is definitely what it wants you, the satisfaction that you get out of it, especially if you're doing it with your grandkids or your kids, it is just perfect. So once I did that, and then I'm just <laughs> going to do a bit more. I'm going to give me a bit more cheek. I'm just going to put a bit more cheek. I've never heard Georgina so excited about anything in my life. She's like, oh my God, bless you. <laughs> they are brilliant. <laughs> uh, Laurie's saying okay. they're so, so cute. So then you have you. that part, okay? Yeah. The little cheeky grin. And then I'm just going to use the frosting again. This time I'm just going to concentrate on the frosting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then all I'm going to do that part, and I'm just going to use the red. Just play with your colour. If you do not want to use different colour, just layer different colour in the, with a the different layer of colour. Mm -hmm. It gives a much better shadow effect. Okay, and then that's where you will get that. And then this part is fantastic because you can make it into like chocolate, vanilla, red velvet. It's just 
That's what I mean. With these stamps, you've gone into the detail <laughs> with the different stamps. It's not just a yeah. cupcake stamp, it is cupcake with the additional elements. Yes, it's going to be different right. every time. Yes. And then and then I have a, uh, have a strawberry chocolate cake, yes. which is cupcake, which oh. you have there. Wow. Okay. And then all you need to do, and then just take the final one, just give it a bit of shadow. And I'm going to use the same color of the base wrapper. And I'm just going to stamp it over. It just gives it a nice little touch of shadowing, which you will see there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK. So now the final step, I finished with that. So the final step is to give Basil a little nice eyes. Mm -hmm. So this time, I'm going to give him a brown one. Just make sure that you, everything just goes to where it should go, like that. And then just stamp it over. OK, and then just do that. You can make him blue, uh, his eyes to be blue, or his eyes to be red. Oh, not red, sorry. <laughs> what am I talking about, red? Maybe. <laughs> <coughs> you want well, a guinea yeah, pig with red they? eyes? OK, Georgina. Ooh. And maybe Albino. Albino, sometimes you get the uh, white mice with red eyes. <laughs> Hermelin Albino, well, I never knew that, actually. Mm. Well, maybe, okay. he, he said maybe he had too much to drink. <laughs> and then maybe. Square. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> That's Basil. Love Basil. Yeah, Samantha saying this technique, it just really makes colouring quite easy. If you're yes. not strong colouring. If, yeah. if you want to use your spectrum round markers mm. and colour, colour from the front of the front and shadowing, by, by, by all means, by do it. Absolutely. So I'm going to die cut that. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put this away and then just get my dies ready. Perfect. So I'm going to have. Oh, I don't have the chance to do my my uh, candle, but and <laughs> kind of day. we'll do that because this is more important. Die cutting it out. Okay. And just oh, someone someone got carried away with this. <laughs> With the double tape. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, lovely. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I lost my tapes. Oh, it's over <laughs> the other side, so I'm just going to use the new one. So all I need to do, just go over there, and then just match that, and then just put the bottom part, and then, of course, the bezel. Just make sure that you the lines with that. And I have to apologise. If you'll notice, I've actually misaligned my tail. But end of the day, now no, no harm done because it's just going to look fabulous. <laughs> I love it. Mary Reno, layering stamps are so much fun. Uh, trying all different colours. That's what you were just saying, wasn't it? It's, it, it, yes. have, it's just having fun with Having these. fun with your yeah. colours and mm -hmm. or having fun of layering diff the same colour together to mm -hmm. create a different shade of colour. That is the best part of that. It's just playing, crafting is so much better if you're enjoying yourself playing with color in sort of experimenting yeah. and so and things like that and then what you can actually create out of that is really brilliant okay let me just go and tilt bezel's tail out and then that one cut and that's a little cupcake and then bezel goes there and then that's where you and you can see that bezel's hands pops out as well. Okay. There. Look at that. And Isn't then you can cute? just grab the cupcake. Yep. Like that. Oh. And then that's where you will get Basil grabbing a cupcake. <laughs> I okay. love it. And then have Basil becomes, what, should, what name should we name Basil? Uh, Basilina. Basilina. Can you see you become Basilina with, that is from Lily's. Ribbon. Yep. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see they can interchange with yes, that. Yes, of course. And then, of course, Basil can have... Hmm. The balloon, if you wanted, or... Yeah, the yes. balloon, or the party hat. Because they all interchange. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's you great. See, it's, all, it's all interchangeable. It is fantastic what you can do with that. Mm -hmm. Or if you'd like to have the balloon, or you can use, just have that balloon there and clap it there. Oh, perfect. I love okay. these. So what I'm going to do is to shape yes, them yes, to show course. you how it's going to look like. So I'm going to shape the cupcake and the party hat mm -hmm. and the ribbons as well. Of course, there's a shadow as well for bezel, which is, which is there as well. So you can do the bezel. 
the shadow just makes it pop, doesn't yes. it? And then you can use different color for that. So that's lily, basil, and I'm just going to do two basil first, and then I need that, my embossing too, and then of course will be the spray emboss. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So because you color from the front, so you need, need to spray from the back. So just flip that through, slip from the back, and let it rest for 30 seconds. And then the same for a little cupcake. All right. So just wait for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to spray there as well. And then just let it just I'm not to try to do too much, or else it's just not going to work. So I'll just get my cupcake. And the cupcake also has slits. Okay. And then that's where you can put your put the cherries mm -hmm. and the candles or yeah. basil as well on there. Just take that and just link that through. Yeah. Okay. And then just shape that. Let's take your time to shape it. Okay. Because that's it's nice when it has a 3D and the good thing about basil as well, the teeth comes out there. So you can actually put it over the cupcake so that as though it's eating the cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheeky marshmallow and of course you have your cheeky cheeky cherry on top. Do you see? Nothing but the cherry on top. And cream. <laughs> double cream, oh yes, double cream, Absolutely. whipped cream. <laughs> double cream, whipped cream, it is fantastic. Because if you want to be bad, go the whole out. Yeah, do you do it. it. There's no point if, doing yeah, half. If you can't, yeah. <laughs> you can't do it, do it wrong, that's what you want. You yes. Want everything. What's the point of doing, oh, I just have a uh, uh, half fat cream. You want yeah. to do it, do it properly. Of course. <laughs> I know, I know, it's been, that's how I do, that's how I think, it's like, if, as long as we don't eat it every time, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's fantastic, if you can just help yourself and just spoil yourself, don't, no, I don't need to be too, too much of a event. <laughs> I know, it's just making everybody hungry, okay. I hope it's just like, okay, I'm just going to push the eyes out a bit more, and then the hands out a bit more, and that's where, the heat gun comes in because the heat gun it helps to give it rigidity of for the spray emboss with the car. It makes it feel like a bit like plastic. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over there and just heat it. Then when you're heating it and then what is semi dry, mm -hmm. turn that off and then redo that again. Perfect. Bit. So it just helps to maintain that shape slightly more and it's just give it a bit more uh, outline for where you want it to be and then just do that in the area there and don't be too rough with it either because it's just take your time and do it and then you'll be fine a uh, question for you Gordon yes. have you ever used the spray emboss on tissue paper um, yes I have I'm not going to say it's easy because it's so thin yeah you have to be very careful because it's so delicate uh, normally, I, I uh, like with using a cup it. Of tea, look, at I, um, look at me with my cup of tea. <laughs> I like using it on uh, computer paper. Right, that can be amazing. The, remember, the secret to spray emboss is just in the show. You you spritz it on. You only spritz it one side because the other side has the ink. Yeah, it doesn't want to spray it on that side. But uh, after he has shaped it using spray emboss, you must speed dry it using your heat gun. Right, the heat gun. With the, with the drying it with your heat gun makes it go rigid, almost like a piece of plastic. If you let it dry naturally, it doesn't work. Okay. The secret is speed drying what just is just done. Yeah. I see. Perfect. Look at and that. And you can do that with any die cut. Lovely. And make it dimensional instead of it just being flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Spray right. Boss really is one of those magical products. Loads of you yeah. checking that out. Sorry, make a cup of tea. Uh, loads of you checking that out in your baskets tonight. I'm not surprised. Ten pounds ninety nine, sixteen dollars and one cent, fifteen percent saving. Uh, Justin is now gluing his wonderful basil uh, with that wonderful three D cloud glue. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to push him to take him out, take his uh, hand out slightly, and then just sort of shape that, and then that's with the cupcake, which is there. And then I'm just going to leave his mouth over oh, the cupcake. Oh, stop it. That's cute. And then just, that's where you will get. 
He's that's munching down on that cake. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so that's where you can just, um, you, if you have time, just glue it down. And then the next one I'm going to do is Lily as well, straight away, just to show you how, how well she does it as well. Yeah. Love this. Okay. No problem. This is no time at all. Uh, Patricia said, this demonstration is excellent. It really is. And Pammy has just gone, Basil might be coming to my house. I've got a feeling a lot of you are taking Basil home tonight after that. Cause yes, Basil is my favourite. And then and Lily, it's soft. She just, you can get done lots of it as well. I know yeah. some of you are not books fan, but how can you not adore cute books? Okay. <laughs> So that's what it's all about, adoring things. Yeah. And cute books. Okay, I'm just going to shift it slowly, uh, gently at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to do not, of course, we're not going to have much time left. Okay, I'm just going to get that done. Yeah. And then I just, oh, on top of the spritz that slightly, I split it just mm -hmm. now, but it's all dried up and so I can't let it take its shape that much. And then I'm just going to get that and then bulb that. True. Okay. Pat sends paper hugs going, oh my goodness, I love him. Scrap paper scissors, again, mini egg. Oh my goodness, how flipping cute, Justin, you are so creative. And um, Pammy, I can't wait to get Basil here. And Diana, well, this show is so good, so many good tips. Uh, guys, if, they, if, if people want to keep in touch with Be Creative, do you have Facebook? Well, how can people keep in contact yeah, with Yeah, well, yeah. our Facebook page, Be Creative Craft yeah. page. Perfect. Yeah, then if they have any questions and ask, or you can, you can ask it on the Crafters TV as well, we yeah. will we'll check on it and then we'll ask any questions as yeah. well. Perfect, lovely. Okay, so once we finish with that, Okay, then that's where you will have Lily down there. I'm just because the 3D glue does not glue that quick. Yeah, it just takes a bit of time. Yeah, yeah. it takes a bit of time, but I'm just going to just squid there and then so that I can redo this at home. I just want to give layer this up so people can see mm -hmm. how well it is. Okay, and then I'm just going to put oops <laughs> her hat band on. Like that, and then that's where you will get Lily. Look at that, love it. That is beautiful. It is a stunning little ladybird, Lily, the ladybird yes. there, <laughs> a little baby ladybird. A gorgeous question, uh, guys. You are absolutely living. Be creative. If you want to come back and yep. watch the show, save it into your playlist and come back and watch it as many times. Uh, Diet as this show is so good, so many good tips. It really is. We've had some great collections today. Uh, we've had some brilliant with the, the uh, butterflies, uh, the, uh, the butterflies, ladybirds, and bee. I just had so much fun. Uh, Gordon, Justin, thank you so much, gents. You're welcome. Yeah, Absolutely. It's been a, uh, another wonderful day. I've been doing yep. shopping TV for 15 years, and this is the most friendliest place I've yep. ever worked. It and we can't, we're back again on the 8th of April. Yep. Completely different product. Perfect. A range yes. of embossing crystals. Yeah. And we're going to be doing some screen printing, very unusual things. You're going to love yes. it on the 8th of April. Yep. And we, we can't wait. We Absolutely. really can't wait. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Where are you travelling today? Travelling home now? Where, where do you guys, where's home for you oh, guys? Yeah. Nottingham. Nottingham, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, Nottingham. Yeah, Down the A1, yeah, yeah. lovely, perfect. Thank you everyone. Thank you, wonderful. Gordon, thank, thank you, Justin. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, 8th of April, Be Creative back in the studio. Don't forget, do not go anywhere. We've got another 35 minutes or so of crafting uh, with the wonderful Craig. He's going to be back on your Monday Makers. We'll see you shortly. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
Spotify, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Quick buy, get yours now. Hey, yes, welcome back to you, Monday Makers here on Crafters TV. Thank you to Gordon, Justin, and the Be Creative team. Uh, so much more to get crammed into this last half an hour. Uh, Craig's back in the building. Craig, how are you, my good man? I'm too good, thank you very much. Very good. How, did you buy anything? No, not yet. Your microphone's not on. Uh, turn there, get your suck on, Craig. Come on, you've had a cup of tea and these jelly tots. We'll try this again. We've already had one gremlin incident tonight. Yeah, we're, we're on green. Yeah. We're on green. We're good to go. So, how was your break, mate? I, it was very good, thank you very much. Uh, I got a head start uh, tomorrow. Me and you are on Craft Chat. We are eight. indeed. So, I was just having a little uh, look over my demos. Go across onto my social media pages on my Facebook where you'll have a look at two of the demos that we're going to be doing. Uh, I had another cup of tea, and while I was doing all that, I was watching Justin and Gordon, so it it's was been great. It's been great. Uh, do you know something? It's been so good. I know they yep. said lovely things, but it's so nice having the guys here as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So, so, so much fun coming in. Pam, are you just saying thank you, Gordon, and Justin, the queen of Gibson? Justin, by the way. <laughs> you just caught me on camera going like that. <laughs> love it. Uh, the queen of Gibson on YouTube. Hello, everyone. Just want to chime in. And while watching with my children, they love those layering stamps. Basil's become a fave. Uh, all. And Lorna on Facebook, are you spraying boss on my miniature photocopy roses and I think you'd use 310 GSM brilliant so much love uh, for those today uh, something that you are going crazy for head to the website uh, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu uh, we've got some great deals for you including this the silhouette floral dies with you uh, this is the best collection of 30% off saving for you today where well, you're getting the dies and you're getting the tri colors as well the uh, water colors and watercolor card you're getting the wonderful flowers 15 great dies here for you the butterfly meadow you get the bumblebee paradise and the stint of summer uh, stint of summer St stint of summer Scent of summer, sorry, <laughs> just it's the right on back of that. Stench of summer, uh, great collection. That price across the bottom of the screen is the price if you just want the dies. If that's the price, there it is for you across the bottom of the screen £29.22, uh, 36, $33.63, a 25% saving. However, the best deal and the best value for money is this one that you see there it is on this side here for you. Uh, where well, you're getting the watercolors, you'll get a card, you'll get in the aqua markers, £51.99, $67.98. Uh, right, Craig. What are we going to do first? Right, so we are going to be having a look at these ones. We're going to be looking at the Bumblebee Paradise for this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate uh, some of the colours that you get with it. Look. So let's start off with watercolour card here. Now, I'm going to go in and you can, if you wanted to, you can absolutely colour your cardstock first, like I'd done earlier on within one of the other demos, and then do your die cutting or what you can do if, if you do it that way you're going to get more of a natural sort of organic look because you're not going to know uh, what areas are going to come out in which die cut piece whereas if you die cut them first and then color you can be more selective as to what you're coloring where so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these ones here and we are going to make a feature out of these dies however these are really good as little tuck-in dies so in the back of your flower forming or maybe your maybe your um, animal or your your farmyard stamping dies you know, all these sorts of ones that you can then start to use as little tuck-in features so all that I'm going to do with these ones is we're going to secure these ones as I explained earlier on with low tack tape to stop them moving you can, of course, use these individually in which they will all go through your Gemini Mini or your Gemini Go individually. But what we can then do is let's trim this excess off. So if we trim that one off and then all that we're going to do is we're going to run that one through our Gemini. I'm using my Gemini Junior, as you know by now. That is my choice of machine. 
I'm just, just sorting my hair. Just before I came back on there, I uh, took a photo of myself and Justin and Gordon, and I was very, very lucky to wear Ted hat. I was so lucky. So I was just sorting that there. But uh, we'll pop that up on social media after the show. But now that I have die cut these ones out, what we've got is our florals. More specifically, our bumblebee paradise. And these look lovely. Use num just in the white onto a dark backdrop. Alternatively, you can then do them into a black card or a navy card or a grey card. Would look lovely as well. But you've got the option to add the colour. So we're going to go in here. We've got the thistle in there. We've got lots of other foliage parts. I'm not even going to pretend to know what each of these are because I don't. I know diddly squat when it comes to flowers. So we've got all of these ones here. So what we can then do, this is going to be my mat and layer later on that we'll start to assemble. But you can even really, really simply have your white layer start to build them all up. So you can start to build them up into the back. And what you'll find, and it's what I like to do, is when I come to adhere these to my layers, I don't actually stick the whole lot down. What I do is let's, let's just random, randomly start to go on here. So we can then go into here. I bring them in at a point, and then it's at this point where I will add my adhesive of choice, usually a glue gel, and you don't need to do much at all. Do the opposite side or the opposite way within the black, you can do, but then the choice of papers of that that you use as well is going to make it look completely different. This is just one of our past uh, 12 by 12 paper pads. So what we are going to do is colour them. So let's go in, and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use my water brush, I'm going to use my clear sparkle overlay. So we're going to get the colour from our tricolours, but what we're going to do is we're going to get some beautiful colour. So I'm going to go in with, let's go in with the warm orange. Let's go in with, uh, what else do I want? Let's go, let's go in with the rose pink. Now, if you're new to the tricolours, you might be looking at me taking the lids and that off and then thinking, they look familiar, like the tri-blends. Yeah. And it's the tri-blend for them. So what I mean by that is you've got one colour, you've got two colours, and you've got three colours, all in the one pen. Now, just briefly as well, if I actually bring in a tri-blend, so your tri-blend, this is where you've got one colour and you've got the light on one side, dark on the opposite side and mid-tone in the other, in the middle. So that's your alcohol tri-blend. But your tri-colours, yes, it's got one, two and three, but they're not actually colour families. What Leanne and the product development team have put them in colour uh, order. And when I say order, what I mean by that is... We've got the bud green is going to work well with the meadow, which is going to work well with the verdant green. Then if I go into another one, we've got the rose pink is going to work well with the jasmine, which is going to work well with the tulip. So you know that the three colour tones, some might be in family form, for instance, three shades of green, but some might be completely different. And that's because all the colours within the one pen are going to work together. So that's the different form within the tri-colours. So yes, it's the tri-blend formula of pen um, distribution. However, the colour form is slightly different. So we can then go in, let's go in with a little bit of purple for the thistle. So let's go in with the, we're going with Heather for this one because it's still a nice deep tone. And then we can then go in with our lovely rainbow, rainbow forum. Easier said than done. We can then go in. So let's start, let's go in with our thistle here. And I'll tell you what I'm also going to do is I should have a darker green as well, maybe like a moss or something. There we go. So I'm going to add some of that down. So do not onto my glass mat, as you will tend to see us do quite a lot. Be it our craft mat, Justin Gordon's craft mat, you can do this on there as well. And I'm going to go in with the, the light green first. And all that I'm doing, nothing specific, 
I am simply adding that color on. I'm just layering it on. So a really good thing with the watercolor in is by layering it on, you get, a, for me, you get a lot more even blend and blend the colors in. I know Debbie Fisher would say she finds when she was starting out, alcohol coloring is easier than uh, water-based coloring. I'm completely the opposite. I find that the water coloring to start with is a lot easier than alcohol coloring. And that's because it's a lot more forgiving. So you can then go in, if it's not blended enough, you can go in with your paintbrush and water or your water brush or your clear sparkle overlay and start to blend the colors in. It's a personal choice, as many things are. Certainly, we've uh, come across a few things uh, throughout launch day and Monday Makers, both myself and George, where we've said it's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. Try them in whichever way you want to, and you will then find and uh, feel what's more comfortable. So really, all that I've been doing, George, is dabbing it on, really. Yeah. Nothing overly complicated. It is. It really, really is. Because you don't need to be specific. But, as you can see here, we can clearly for see... for nosy. Yeah, come across. You can clearly see that we're getting that thistle forum. Yeah. So oh, sorry. Can see. That's a funny point. Thistle forum. Thistle form. Yeah. Sounds like something for the Scottish Parliament. Welcome to the thistle forum. Let's not go down that road. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Um, so I tell you what, let's go... Let's go into the yes. base into here, well, the green, right. and then we can do the orange. So there's one finish okay. there, kind of an idea. But nothing, nothing specific. All that we're just doing is laying that in. So it's watercolour, and it's watercolour card. So we can literally go in. Oh, my God, the sparkle on this is incredible, isn't just it? Just really good. I know we had a way... Actually, yeah, we did. We do have the sparkles on the show as well. This is just the clear sparkle overlay. This is just... Anyone can do this. If I can do it, kids could do this. Kids, absolutely. Absolutely. And then you're putting them on a surface. Whether, okay, you might not have a glass mat for the kids, um, but a non-porous surface, a worktop, something like that. And because it's watercolour, it's just going to clean off. Mm -hmm. Just wipe off, no problem at all. Going to come off their hands and that, no problem at all. Just let them have fun. I will say, if you're using the sparkle pens with the kiddies, uh, the sparkle pens can start to stain your your skin for a day or two. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. So how do I clean this pen? All that I do is on a clean bit of my mm -hmm. glass mat, I just go back and forwards just a couple of times. That's enough to get the excess. Okay, and then go for the yellow. And then go into the yellow. Yep. And then do exactly the same on the surrounding part. Oh, this is incredible. And then it just goes to show, when I say that I wasn't doing it in any specific way, that shows with George as well. He's doing it the way that I was doing it, and that's just laying that colour on. So you can go quite light to start with. If you want it darker, what you could do is, once George has finished that, but you can leave it for maybe a moment or two, just to let that ink set in, and then you can go in to a larger colour or a deeper colour. But that is no time all, at all that you need to do. Yeah. No time at all you have got this absolutely laid in there with a bit of colour. Yeah. That is there incredible. You there you are. I'm here all week. So we've got that one. Yeah. So there's that one. So let's bring in a couple that we've already done. So yep. we will use that one and we will use that one. Let's come in with this one here that I've already done. Let's come in with this one here that I've already done. And then, just to show you as well, this is the one that was already done that George was following on from. Of course, you could do them in any other way. It's but great, isn't it? It's the same thing. Yeah. And, well, the, the thing is, and I wouldn't necessarily do it right now because it's still a little bit damp, but all that we've done on that one beforehand is gone in with a little black art liner that you'll pr potentially already have from your discovery kits or anything along those lines. If yep. you've got your colouring academy, I know you guys here in the UK are chomping at the bit. You don't have long to go. But start to use all these other forms of mediums that you've got. But then we've got all of these layers here. So all that I'm going to do, I would come in, of course, with another piece of watercolour card, something like that, take that excess ink off. But we don't have that luxury of time. So let's bring in these layers here already got my tape on mm -hmm. the back 
And what I'm going to do is when I start to form my design within the centre, this is where I love these to be free-flowing, George. Yeah. I love that natural movement that you get. So what I'll do is, when I come to start to form them, actually I won't bring them on just yet, because I'm going to wait to show you them literally in seconds. If we take this off, and you don't get much height from them, hence why I'm doing height within my actual layer. So we're going to go into here. Let's press that one in there. And then I'm going to use my glue gel for this. And really, really simply, I'm going to take a nice generous little blob we can then I'm going to I'm going to smear it out just ever so slightly and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with these ones and I'm going to start to lay them up so I'm going to go for the large two here yep then what I can start to do is overlap that into the middle what I can then do is press that one into the side I can press that one into the side. And in actual fact, to show that you can snip them, I'm snipping that one down. Let's kind of smooch that in. Smoosh, smooch, 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 smooch. Smooch that in. And then we can then come along with another piece of glue gel. I'm going to take my bow. That's going to hide that little collection at the bottom there. So when that dries, that's going to be nice and free-flowing. It's going to be nice and solid at the base here because of the glue gel. And then taking one of my stamp sets from my uh, stamp collection, I'm going to tuck that under. Let's move that one in. And as simple as that, that's all that I need to do to create a really effective card. And perfect. So if I turn it to the side, see what I mean by I love that natural free flowing, mm -hmm. you know, tilt forward. It just starts to form itself. Yeah. If you want to secure them with a little bit of low tack tape, you actually can do. But if you buy yourself flowers or loved one flowers, when you see them in the vase or whatever, uh, that you pop them in, you see them just naturally either just curling out yeah. or, you know, standing proud or to the side or whatever. So it's just kind of mirroring that natural flow, but within what you've created within these ones. It really is. Uh, Catherine's just saying these watercolour flowers made with the silhouette dyes are so beautiful and you get a look uh, easily and quite quickly. So pretty added to cards. Uh, Mary Reno, I just love the look of these flowers. And uh, Alan just says, hi Craig, getting to watch a, a, first, a, a live first time in a while. I've missed uh, watching Craig and Carletta said, yeah, I've done a great job. Thanks. Cheers. I, I try my best. I let off Craig, so you know, I can't go wrong. Uh, the <laughs> silhouette floral dies and those 15 elements of the dies. You've also, that price there, you're paying for this uh, scent of summer. You are paying for the wonderful butterfly meadow and the bumblebee paradise. That incredible price also means you are getting the nine tricolours, uh, the nine tricolour aquamarkers, and you're also going to get a watercolour card as well. £51.99, $57.68, uh, a great collection. Uh, some great deals for you on your sparkle pens. I will just do a little uh, plie. What you didn't hear was my knees go. <laughs> um, the sparkle glitter pens, 15 pen collection here for you today. Uh, you get all the colours. You've just seen Craig using his sparkle pens there. Uh, you're getting the five sets of families. You are. Oh, I've dropped everything. Uh, you are getting the. Um, wonderful tints and tones, you're getting the earthy naturals, the essential brights, the antique vintage, and you're getting three of the clear lay, uh, clear lays, clear overlays as well. When you start putting them together, you're going to get these wonderful cards. Uh, here you are with your backgrounds. This is what you can do with your wonderful, uh, using a bit of your gilding wax on there, it means you can create some amazing backgrounds, and there they are. Look at the bit of your clear overlay sparkles. Really great collection. £49.99, $64.99. A brilliant collection. Do to do a little play again? Which you are absolutely loving. Uh, oh, my knees. £39.99, $51.99. You didn't tell me about these at all, Georgie. You didn't tell me about these. Fight, 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 fight. You said, do this, do that. 
George is on my side. Don't you forget that. Right. Also for you today, the 120 sheets, uh, Centura Pearl and Glitter Card, the Essential Collection. Uh, £36.99, $61.99. You are getting some uh, great cards here uh, for you today. Sorry, it sounds like someone's trumping in my ear. Probably. It sounds, there's a really weird noise in my ear. It seems like someone's passing wind. Stop it if it is you, Georgina. <laughs> um, uh, the wonderful collection that you are getting You're today. Chomping. You guys have eaten tonight. I know I mean. you are being chomping in my ear. Uh, £36.99, $61.99. Uh, you are getting the uh, colour families. You're getting five different colour families. You're getting ten sheets of that wonderful Centura Pearl card, which you can see there. And you're getting the corresponding card in that wonderful glitter form as well. So that's the gold collection there. You're getting 310 GSM. You're also going to be getting your rose gold as well in that wonderful uh, metallic uh, Centura Pearl, should I say, and also that wonderful glitter a card form as well. You're getting the pale silver and the corresponding silver glitter card. You're also going to be getting the copper as well. And you're also going to be getting rose gold, or ivory, should I say. Oh, and one more for good measure because I just, I love that we get black as well. The black glitter card is one of my favourites. Uh, the black Centura Pearl, there it is, shiny, so shiny. Add also your glitter card as well for you. Uh, 20, 120 sheets of that brilliant card at a brilliant price, $36.99, $61.99. Uh, it's time to get a demo of the show, Greg, because we'll do demo of the day. So, Craig, what makes have you made for us today? Rightio. So, what are mine? One, two, and three to start with? Yeah, you're starting, mate. Yeah. Yes, rightio. So, number one, using our create a card. Then, number two, using our stamps. And then number three, using our outline floral die. So I've got one, two, or three for you. Lovely. Uh, number four is from Gordon and Justin from Be Creative, starting off with the wonderful Tedwood. Uh, oh, no, this was Tilly, wasn't it? This was Tilly. No, Tilly. Tilly. Tilly the bear. Uh, there she is, that wonderful uh, wonderful stamping effect. Both sides, that's number three. Uh, number four. Number five is little Basil the Mouse. There is Basil, little Basil there, we'll use that's number five. And number six is the wonderful Lily the Ladybug. That's the little Lady Ladybug. Uh, there you are for you. A great collection. So, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Who will it be uh, very quickly? Right, let's have a quick go for us today on the uh, credit card, the uh, big scene credit card dies. Six great designs here for you today at a brilliant price for you. Starting off with the butterfly, love every. Woman, every man, join the butterfly. Uh, you've also got the wonderful church blessings. Seamless. Uh, you've also got here as well the wonderful moon and stars. The ornate cross. You've also got take flight. And the rustic rose as well. £39.49, 60% off today, £45.99. Uh, you can inspire a price does apply to this at £31.59, $36.79. I think it's, Anne says, I think it's lovely they let George do some crafting. <laughs> Let me out every now and then. I, I, I thought know. they were actually saying, I think it's lovely that they let George out every now yeah. and again. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing over there in the corner? You? Your turn. So turn. Your turn to some work. I'm Joe, what are you do for us? Credit cards. I, d I didn't actually hear what you said. I don't but know. It's been a long day. day. We did credit cards. It's been a long day. You only started at like three o'clock. I had to do photos. Half eleven. I had to be. I was here at half. Photos. Four. Caitlin took us into the other studio, and we had to do like a one-minute video, and that was hard work. Yeah. There's a fly in here. It's really annoying. Don't change the subject. <laughs> All right, someone's. Well, kids, kids today, they never know the meaning of the word hard work, do they? In my day, there was none of this. George is the youngest here. I know. I'm no, I'm not the, Charlotte. I'm the, I'm the oldest. Charlotte's the youngest. Oh, here oh, now. The building. Well, there's, ha there's hardly anyone in the building, though, to be fair. Justin and Gordon, but, you know. We wouldn't say they're older than me, because they are, but respectfully, on that note, they're actually still here. They're just outside. Right, so we've got our white smooth stamping card, nine and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and I've scored at one and a half inches and two inches. And I make it easier on myself, flipped it over, scored at one and a half inches and two inches again. And these dies, the creator card dies, they scream 
to be used within a theatre sort of design because you've got that outside edge die. So by eliminating that, that means that you can cut your design into your card. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cardstock, we're going to use our butterfly die. Now I have jumped across to my large Gemini because this is going to be a larger form so it wouldn't fit within my junior. So what I can then do is take my die, just the decorative die, not the outline die, and this is going to cut into our centre panel. So Susie's gone, I'm the oldest. Susie Socials. But Susie, you're not a day over 21, my love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's a young thing. She is a young thing. Uh, I've got a demo of the show, vote. Oh, have you? Let's do that quickly. Uh, it was number one, Craig. Your wonderful, uh, the wonderful credit cards that you're demonstrating now, that wonderful uh, four bleaching. That was great. Right, let's do demo of the day, vote, while we're waiting uh, for that to pass through the Gemini machine. Gordon and Justin with their wonderful, you know, bumboo boom. Uh, there's number one. Number two is this wonderful uh, car that Craig made earlier. I love these. Those wonderful concertina, um, wonderful concertina corner pieces. These are brilliant dies. Uh, again, with that wonderful decoupage. That's number two. And number three is, of course, what Craig's just made. Uh, using these exact same, not the exact same die, but the creator card. Uh, this is uh, odd are in your favour, Craig. One, two, or three. Uh, let's get a vote on that, guys. So I've done nothing there other than ran it through my die cutting machine. These will, of course, I know this is something that we do tend to say quite a lot, but it's always important to say that because I know that we get new viewers pretty much every single day. We're always getting new viewers when we have our friends along. So I know that there's some of you that will have never watched Crafters TV before, but thanks to Justin and Gordon, you have been watching today. Mm. And hopefully it'd be nice to if, um, you've carried on watching until the end of the show. So therefore, all of our dies will go through all die cutting machines. Of course, size dependent on the yes, actual course, die, yeah. but if it fits in your die cut machine size wise, it's going to cut it no problem at all. So what we're doing with this one is I'm going to pop these little bits out. And with this butterfly one, you kind of get, uh, well, three, three for two really. Yeah because the wings of the butterflies, these actually pop out. So you've got this, the wingspan of the butterfly that can lift out. So if we pull that and that one out, so these ones all here, these all lift out. So not only have you got that create a card form, you've got it so that the butterflies are as if they are taking flight. Mm -hmm. So if I pull that one out and then pull that one out there. So this is the look that we're going for, that we can Love see that. with the wings starting to pop out. Then what I'm going to do is let's take this rose gold centura pearl. Yeah. And for this one, what I'm going to do is the two dies together. Okay. Now, actually, I'm not. I'm going to show you how. Remember earlier on, George, I was saying if I was really honest with you, I very rarely use the outline. Yes, die. of course. Very rarely do I use these ones. What I tend to do is cut my cardstock to mm -hmm. size. It's just the way that I tend to do it. So the outline die is five by seven. So this is where instead of using the outline die, all that I'll do is come along and cut my card to five by seven. So I tend to do that with most of our create a card dies that has a simple outline die to right. it. Just means that we don't. And, what, and, and what's the reason? Just preference. Just preference. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's just as quick to cut my cardstock to size. You know, if I'm taking my cardstock out my uh, bundle of card, it's just really quick. Cut it quickly. Five by seven with the guillotine. That's it done. And then it's only seconds. I know, but it saves either doing them separately or positioning them, securing them, making yeah. sure they're nice and secure. And as I say. I do that a lot, so I'm not saying it's it's a wrong thing, you know, it's not, that's what it's there for, but it's just a personal preference. And it saves your plates. Well, it does that, yeah, when you think about it that way, it does. So, yeah, there's no other reason other than it's, it's kind of like habit now. I find it just as easier, just as quick to come along and then cut my card to size. Lovely. So then we can run that one through again. Now, what I'm going to do is, while that goes through, I've already got one that's already done. Done exactly what I've done there. 
and this is it now done and dusted. So what I'm then going to do is during uh, my little break when Justin Gordon were on, I say little break, I was uh, prepping and getting stuff ready for tomorrow, but I should hopefully manage to have declogged my glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round the edges with my tacky glue, and then I'm going to go into the butterflies, but I'm not going into the decorative part of the wings. What I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to go only around the little swirls and only around the outer part of the butterfly mm -hmm. in the body as well, but making sure that I don't go into the decorative part of the inner so we can go all the way around. And if maybe you're only tuned in for Justin and Gordon and uh, you've hung around till the end of the show, the tacky glue, some might think, well, it's a little bit of a time-consuming thing to do, Craig, with the tacky glue, when we've got things such as tape runners and sprays and that nowadays. This is what I tend to do at home. With yeah. any, anything intricate, I will use my tacky glue and my um, small applicator. And I do it on any of the lives and that that I do from home. So what I can then do is then go and work my way round. I would at home spend a little bit more time, but let's just do a couple of little dots there and there. Um, a lot of love for your pokey tool, Craig. The Lisa Horton. The, uh, the Lisa Horton one, yeah. yeah. They did sell out, guys, when Lisa Horton was here, but we'll always let you know when she's back with more brilliant pokey tools. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich that right over the top. And because I didn't pop any glue on the back of the decorative part of the wings, if I press that in, what we could do is we can lift one wing up. But once again, because there's no glue on the decorative part, I can lift the rose gold I love as well. This. Yeah. So I could have stuck the rose gold to the white and only get one level of wings. But by not doing that, what we can then do is then get two kind of like wing spans, one with the white, one with the rose gold. And what I'm going to do is I'll pull these ones up, but then I'll show you the one that's finished because I know we've literally only got seconds, seconds to go on really right up to the wire on this one. So let's take this one out here and then lift that one out here. So if I show you from up above on some white card stock, oh wow! Actually, tell you what, let's do it. So elegant, isn't it? On to black that we've oh, got. So we've got the wow. rose gold as well as the white popping through, which looks absolutely beautiful. Now this it has been flat, so I need to pop them all out. But take that idea, and then this is how it would look once you would pop all the wings up. So you've got your create a card into the back there. How lovely does that look? Really does. I absolutely adore that, mate. I love that. I think that could have been demo of the show, you know? I think so. I would have think it was. Uh, I'll tell you what demo of the day is, though. The wonderful make from this afternoon on the launch day with those brand new concertina uh, ends. That is your demo of the day today. Wow. The wonderful Craig's there for you. Uh, guys, what a brilliant show. Remember, get some great deals. Run those wonderful stamps. A 70% saving for you. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk. Check out your baskets. Uh, see everything else on the show. Uh, Craig, we are back to... This is we blinking are. fly. Uh, back tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock here in the UK, uh, 6 a.m. East Coast, 3 a.m. Pacific time. What are you going to got for us in Wake Up Call slash Craft Chat and Crate? Right, we are going to be demoing our animal silhouette dies. We're also going to be demoing the floral birth month stamps. And then we're also, if time, time dependent, we're going to be demoing Sarah's signature Easter collection. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow with Craig. And then don't forget, Sarah's going to be here for our launch date at me and Ben. 2 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast, 7 a.m. Pacific time for that brand new launch of those wonderful card dies that you're going crazy for. And then launch party, Leanne's going to be here with Ben tomorrow evening for Academy of Colour. Oh, hey! We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Toodles!